Chapter 321 Advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm Translator Born to be Long Chen suddenly had all his pores open as a sense of mortal danger filled him. He raised his head in horror to see a meter-thick bolt of lightning smash down on him, looking like a huge spear thrown from the heavens. Long Chen hastily circulated all his spiritual energy, at the same time, pouring all his own tribulation thunder force throughout every single part of his body. He raised both arms to protect his head. Boom! That huge bolt of lightning ferociously slammed into Long Chen. Long Chen felt as if it was some huge hammer, and pain racked his body. Even with his powerful physical body, his skin was tearing apart, blood pouring out. Long Chen was filled with shock and fury. This level of thunder force was enough to instantly kill any tendon transformation favored. To use such terrifying thunder force to attack him, the heavens were clearly trying to completely exterminate him. That filled Long Chen with fury. He was becoming more and more sure that the heavens really were blind. There were so many evil people that went unpunished, and the heavens even gifted them Deo Marks. When it came to himself, although he didn't consider himself to be some virtuous good person, it wasn't like he was really a vile fiend. And yet, the will of the heavens refused to tolerate him. It was like the heavens found him to be displeasing, and without giving any reasons, had to completely obliterate him. Fuck these damn heavens. You loathe me? Well I loathe you too. Sooner or later, there will definitely come a day where I overturn these blind, damnable heavens. Long Chen roared up at the thunderclouds. I will sort out of Long Chen's heart. I will to sever all shackles. I will to destroy the nine heavens and ten lands. Long Chen had gone crazy from fury. He felt incomparably stifled. The will of the heavens had really infuriated him. But to kill him would not be so easy. At the same time as Long Chen's fury sparked and his unbending will erupted out. The instant he swore to one day overturn the heavens, within the depths of the Jiuli secret realm, a huge mountain peak, which had been standing for who knew how many years and had always been silent, suddenly became covered in fine cracks. This huge mountain peak that was tens of thousands of miles in diameter was now covered in cracks, and from within those cracks, a faint glimmer of light shone through. At the same time, an indistinct aura was slowly rising, as if some kind of thing had been awakened. Following Long Chen's furious roar was the emergence of even more berserk lightning. Nine of those thick thunderbolts slammed down on him. At this time, Long Chen was covered in blood. His skin split open to reveal the flesh underneath. His flesh had now turned black, and even bone was sticking out at his shoulders, appearing extremely terrifying. And yet, Long Chen's expression did not contain any pain. Instead, his expression contained only fury and craziness as he ferociously glared at the thunderclouds up in the sky. You're unable to kill me. I, Long Chen, swear to one day topple you. At this time, Long Chen no longer held any respect or gratitude to heaven and earth. All he had was a deep hatred. For some unknown reason, as this hate flourished within him, it felt as if he had somehow realized his life's goal, and his will became even stronger. After sending down nine consecutive attacks, the thunderclouds above seemed to have been provoked by Long Chen, and they seemed to almost become angry. The thousands of miles of clouds began to churn, and violent thunder force began to gather at the center. Lightning lit up the nine heavens, its power capable of destroying the dome of the sky. A destructive aura was constantly climbing. Suddenly, up in the sky, a huge eye made of lightning appeared, looking like a huge sun that lit up the entire world. Even people millions of miles away could see that distant light. Those disciples, who were busy searching for opportunities, now turned to look over with shock. Heavens. What is that? Is that the birth of a top treasure? They made all kinds of guesses. Despite the huge distance, they were still able to sense that terrifying destructive will. Beside a mountain stream, there was a woman standing on the crown of a huge tree. She had an elegant figure, a white veil covering her face, and her eyes contained a soul-stealing beauty. This was the woman who had saved Long Chen. She was filled with shock. This is heavenly punishment. Who attracted such a terrifying heavenly punishment? And this direction? Was it him? Suddenly, the light within the sky shot down like a meteor. That mysterious woman trembled slightly. That wasn't her trembling, but the entire mountain was shaking. Looking in that direction, she muttered to herself. I had a strange feeling the instant I saw him. Looks like that fellow should be extremely odd. Haha, <laughs> seems I made quite the profit this time. After some unknown amount of time, Long Chen woke up and vomited a mouthful of blood. Pain racked his body, and he couldn't hold back a pained moan. He felt as if his entire body was falling apart, and the intense pain was like needles stabbing every part of his body. Taking a deep breath, 
he did his best to raise his head. This movement, which normally was completely effortless, was incomparably difficult at this time. Looking up, he saw a round tunnel. He was stuck deep in a hole in the ground. He could see that the thunderclouds in the sky had already disappeared, and the original dusky sky had returned. He, good. This time you didn't kill me, so next time I'll topple you. Cough. Long Chen instantly coughed up more blood. His current injuries were frightening. There wasn't a single part of him that was uninjured, and even his clothes had been destroyed by that lightning. His entire body was charred black. Long Chen caught a whiff of cooked meat coming from his body. Hum. From the sand. I'd say I'm around 80% cooked. Long Chen clenched his teeth and mocked himself. He was now in his weakest state. Even just moving a finger was incredibly difficult. Ignoring the immense pain, he pushed off a bunch of broken rocks that were covering his hand, and touched his spatial ring. A drop of liquid filled with life energy appeared. This was the last drop of the spirit world expert's gift to him. As long as he consumed it, all his terrifying injuries would quickly heal. However, Long Chen hesitated, and in the end, he put it back in his spatial ring. Instead, he took out a pile of healing pills and a key recovery pill. That was his last drop. Although his injuries were severe, they weren't life-threatening. It was best to just use ordinary medicinal pills to heal. Although it was slow, Long Chen estimated that after this much time, most people had already moved far away from this place. The chance of them returning to check this place was low. And even if someone returned, it would take a day or two. He had time to heal. Absorbing those medicinal pills, he used his spiritual strength to quickly send the medicinal energy to his injuries. However, his injuries were really too terrifying. His body had practically turned mushy from being struck by lightning. Bone was sticking out in some places, and everything was scorched. However, he was pleasantly surprised to see countless new Thunder Force runes in his blood now that were circulating energetically. He, I guess being struck by lightning also has its benefits. He was comforted upon seeing those terrifying Thunder Force runes in his blood. These runes were not from ordinary Thunder Force but tribulation thunder force. They contained an endless destructive will. The two were not on the same level. Long Chen's original thunder force had already been extremely powerful, but from how easily this tribulation thunder force had devoured it, it was easy to see how terrifying this new tribulation thunder force was. The most exciting thing for Long Chen was that he could clearly sense his spiritual key was no longer the same as before. After receiving the baptism of the lightning, his spiritual key had become even purer. It was at least 10 times more pure than when he had just advanced. However, Long Chen didn't feel as if he owed the lightning tribulation. These benefits were things he had obtained from his own effort. That lightning tribulation had purely been trying to kill him. One day later, his wounds had healed slightly and some of his flesh had started to grow back. Although he couldn't fight at this time, he could just barely move his body. He didn't dare tarry any longer. Taking out two ordinary swords. He used them as ice picks to climb out of the hole he was in. Long Chen was at the bottom of a hole that was at least 30 miles deep. It took him six hours to climb out of it. These six hours of climbing caused quite a few of his injuries to flare up again. But Long Chen endured it. After climbing out, Long Chen quickly left. He was incapable of fighting. Even an ordinary core disciple would pose a fatal threat to him. After walking for a day, Long Chen found a hidden mountain cave. Confirming it was an abandoned cave without any magical beasts, Long Chen recuperated at ease. Long Chen's decision really had been correct. Less than half a day after Long Chen had climbed out of the hole, people began to arrive. But after searching around for a while, they didn't find any tracks. That was because Long Chen had already used medicinal powders to erase his scent and blood stains. Time passed quickly. Half a month later, the cave Long Chen was in suddenly exploded, and a fierce aura soared out. Ha ha ha, Long Chen raised his head to the sky and laughed loudly. A terrifying spiritual key overflowed from his body, crushing all the rocks around him. Wild gales swirled around him, heaven and earth rumbled, and a formless will soared out into the dome of the heavens, a will that disdainfully looked down on all. Tendon transformation realm. He, I finally reached you. Sensing the vast energy in his body, Long Chen was fanatical. He finally experienced just how powerful the tendon transformation realm was. The tendons that were connecting his bones and muscles were a silver-white color, and were at least a hundred times stronger than they had been in the blood condensation realm. Only when the tendons were strong enough could the physical body release more power. That was why it was said that the tendon transformation realm harmonized the key of key condensation and the power of blood condensation. 
Long Chen felt that just his physical strength had multiplied by tens of times. Most importantly, his tendons had grown more powerful. That would allow Long Chen to be more flexible and agile. Furthermore, his meridians had also widened by ten times as well. In other words, when he fought, his spiritual key would go to where he needed it to flow faster, and he would no longer need to wait so long to accumulate energy. Long Chen took a single step, and suddenly appeared several miles away. He, as expected, the netherworld ghost steps can only be practiced in the tendon transformation realm. Long Chen had long since been ready to use the netherworld ghost steps. He had already practiced the circulation of Qi many times. It was just that he always had to stop at the end due to the pain in his meridians. Now when he tried, that pain had disappeared, filling Long Chen with confidence. Now he would no longer suffer whether it was in terms of speed or strength. Looking at Little Snow in his spiritual space, he saw that he was still unconscious. His wounds were quickly healing, and it wouldn't be long before he woke up. He, Yin Luo, now it should be my turn to go looking for you. Chapter 322 Get Down to Business Translator Born to be time had passed quickly. It had already been a month since the Jiuli secret realm had opened. Who knew just how many experts had entered? People had spent years exploring the Jiuli secret realm. There were seven entrances, with the righteous path controlling three, and the corrupt path controlling four. But there weren't really just seven, because the Jiuli secret realm was extremely mysterious, and it was said to hide itself in separate space from reality. There were many smaller entrances in Su Prefecture and the surrounding prefectures. Those openings were controlled and hidden by some smaller powers. However, those smaller entrances were at most able to accept a couple dozen people before closing. So in addition to those powers hiding them well, the major powers didn't care about them enough to contest over them. So there would always be countless experts entering the Jiuli secret realm each time. Those people who slipped in through the smaller entrances were all looked down upon by the other members of the righteous path. But even if they were considered weaklings, they still had to wear insignias on their robes that proved they were disciples of the righteous path. With that insignia, they would be chased and killed by the corrupt path. But without it, they would be chased by disciples of both the righteous and corrupt paths. After this many years, almost all disciples were aware of which parts of the Jiuli realm were controlled by the righteous path and those disciples wouldn't normally run into the corrupt path's territory. Now that it had been a month since the Jiuli secret realm had opened, there were rumors of quite a few disciples having good luck and gaining good treasures. There was a rumor of someone who had obtained a precious medicinal ingredient used to refine seventh-tier medicinal pills. If they were to give it to their sects, they would obtain an enviable reward. There was also apparently someone who had obtained the eggs of an ancient magical beast that would allow the possessor to breed more of them. There was also someone who had obtained a miraculous jade pendant that upon activation, allowed them to see an immortal performing a sword dance. In any case, whether those rumors were true or not, each day, there would be a huge number of miraculous stories passed around. These kinds of rumors weren't very trustworthy, but there were several matters that had alarmed the entire righteous path, and there were few who didn't know about them. The first matter was that a righteous disciple, the Zhuangshan Supermonastery's 108th Monastery's core disciple Long Chen had assaulted a female disciple of the same sect Novaloon.com when he failed to rape her. He had ended up killing her due to his rage. By chance, two people had just happened to be walking by and used photographic jades to record him. As a result, those two justice warriors had infuriated Long Chen and been killed by Long Chen, and their proof had been snatched away. However, the moment Long Chen had been about to destroy the proof of his loot actions, someone else had appeared to protect the proof, going all out to block Long Chen. But Long Chen was too powerful, and consecutively killed three favored, then gone crazy and chased after anyone who knew about this matter. At the beginning, many people hadn't believed it, but when people revealed photographic jades, everyone finally had to accept one fact. Long Chen was a sex fiend. It was said that Long Chen's loot actions had infuriated the entire righteous path, and now he was someone the righteous path had to kill in order to get justice for that poor woman. The second matter was related to the first matter, that was that the corrupt path's top expert Yun Luo, the one equally famous as the righteous path's number one expert Han Shianayu, had entered the Zhuangshan Monastery's territory to massacre disciples of the righteous path. Furthermore, what was unexpected to everyone, was that Yun Luo had actually focused entirely on that sex fiend Long Chen. As a result, Long Chen wasn't a match for him and had to flee in a panic. No one knew for sure whether he was dead or alive, 
but the majority of people guessed that Long Chen had already met his end. Some people were sneering at him, thinking that Long Chen had committed so many sins that even the corrupt path was unable to put up with it. There were also people who thought that the fact that Long Chen had died under the corrupt path's top expert was letting him off lightly. If he was still alive, he would definitely be tortured to death by the righteous path's disciples. Other than these two matters, there was one more matter. A mysterious dried up well had appeared on the edge of the Jiuli secret realm, and it was filled with a terrifying destructive will. Some people guessed that some sort of amazing treasure had been born there, but as for whether that treasure had been taken away by someone or not, no one knew. Everyone had their own guesses. In the depths of the Jiuli secret realm, there was a beautiful woman looking at a photographic jade with a pleased smile. They did very well. This way, Long Chen will never be able to wash away his accusations no matter what he does. Hopefully he wasn't killed by Yun Luo. It'd be best if he is personally killed by brother Shian Iu. That woman was precisely the chosen who had been by Han Shian Iu's side. Yun Wushuang. She was one of Han Shian Iu's faithful worshippers. If Long Chen were to die under brother Shian Iu's hands, then those two women probably won't have the face to stick around brother Shian Iu. Yun Wushuang smiled. In her eyes, Han Shian Iu was the incarnation of perfection. There was not one woman who could resist his charm. That was why she especially despised Hua Biluo who had ignored Han Shian Iu. In her eyes, Hua Biluo was pretending to be aloof in order to attract Han Shian Iu's attention. Women were all selfish like that. Although there was no lack of females fawning over Han Shian Iu, Yin Yashuang considered herself to be the most beautiful of them all. However, now she had a feeling of crisis. Not only did Hua Biluo appear, but Tang Wanner and Ye's Hikyu who were even somewhat more beautiful than Hua Biluo, had also appeared. That had immediately put her on guard. That was especially true of Tang Wan'er. Although she hadn't become a chosen disciple, she was clearly emitting a powerful will on the same level as a chosen. So, seeing Long Chen fall into a trap delighted her extremely. Putting away the photographic jade, she said to a favored, send down the order to our people to temporarily not do anything to Long Chen. That favored awkwardly said, but the assistant sect leader told us that we had to kill Long Chen as soon as we got a chance. Hmm. Yin Wushuang frowned. She icily said, Don't try to use the assistant sect leader to control me. If he irritated me, then I wouldn't even give the sect leader any face. Just do as I say. If there are any consequences, they will fall on me. That favored still wanted to argue some more. But looking at Yin Wushuang's gloomy expression, he swallowed his words. He knew that Yun Wushuang's background was extremely powerful. Even the sect leader had to treat her extremely courteously. Therefore, he didn't dare to offend her. Get those people to secretly increase Long Chen's fame. I want it so that he is an evil fiend beyond redemption in the eyes of the righteous path. That way when brother Shian Iu kills him, it'll satisfy everyone. That'll get the most value out of Long Chen. Don't waste this opportunity. Understood. A fierce light shone in Yun Wushuang's eyes. Yes. That person didn't dare retort and obediently left. He conveyed Yun Wushuang's orders to their people. If Long Chen really died to a couple powerful chosen now, then Yun Wushuang would think he was either disobedient or incapable, and that would be a disaster for him. With her fierce temperament, he would definitely not have a good ending. He hastily spread the word. After handling the matter of Long Chen, Yun Wushuang smiled and disappeared from this area, continuing to enter deeper into the Jiuli secret realm. The news of Long Chen becoming a sex fiend had reached the ears of all the 108th monastery's disciples. Those disciples didn't even need to think about it to know this was someone's attempt at smearing Long Chen. Gu Yang had directly beaten up the disciple who had spread this news to him. Who the fuck do you think you are? With boss Long Chen's character, why would he go for such a woman? Fuck. Even if that woman threatened Long Chen, Long Chen wouldn't reply to her. Compared to Gu Yang's fury. Guo Ran had been completely unperturbed. He used a medicinal pill to exchange for one of those photographic jades and stealthily hid himself to slowly appreciate it. Flat chest, a small butt, seedy eyes, a fat stomach, chubby legs, and a bucket-sized waist? Ha! Huh. No wonder boss didn't even glance at her. She's not at all boss's taste. What a bunch of idiots. They wanted to target boss, but they weren't even willing to put out any good bait. TCH. Unprofessional. Extremely unprofessional, Guo Ran indignantly raged. If it was me, I definitely would have picked a beauty like Hua Biluo. Then I guarantee boss would definitely take the bait. Oh really TCH? Of course. 
My boss is someone who will become incapable of moving as soon as he sees a beauty. Guo Ran got halfway before realizing something was wrong, and turning back, he stiffened. Boss, that person behind him was Long Chen. At this time, Long Chen was disdainfully shaking his head at him. Little fellow, when are you going to grow up a bit? You didn't go out to test your luck, instead secretly hiding yourself here to admire that photographic jade. Once Long Chen had advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm, he knew he couldn't waste any more time. Although the Jiuli secret realm remained open for a full year, time was still extremely pressing due to how large the secret realm was. Since he started using the Netherworld Ghost Steps, Long Chen's speed had reached a shocking level. In three days, he had traveled 50,000 miles. As he had been traveling, he had suddenly sensed a familiar aura. Advancing to Tendon Transformation had made Long Chen completely transform. His spiritual perception had become much sharper. In practically the first instant, he recognized that aura to be Guo Ran's, and he had followed it to this concealed mountain cave. This fellow had been secretly hiding within this cave, admiring that woman's performance. He had even been gesturing enthusiastically as he talked to himself. Long Chen really had a desire to give him a beating. This scoundrel hadn't gone to find any opportunities in the secret realm, instead doing something so shameless here. Boss, you've advanced. Congratulations, being caught in the act. Guo Ran was completely red and hastily put away the photographic jade. Don't give me any of your nonsense. Can you not do anything proper? It's already been a month. But have you obtained anything? Long Chen ignored Guo Ran's attempt at changing the subject. It seems this photographic jade is my only harvest. As soon as he said this, Guo Ran saw Long Chen's face turn dark, and hastily added, But boss, I found a huge secret. I don't have the strength to take it for myself. So I was helpless. Now that boss has returned, I'm sure us two brothers can get to business. You aren't tricking me. Long Chen was somewhat suspicious. This little fellow wouldn't intentionally trick him in order to hide his embarrassment, would he? No. Guo Ran definitely would do something like that. I swear, it's definitely big business. Boss, let's go right now. If we're too late, the treasure will be taken by others. After saying that, Guo Ran pulled Long Chen in the direction of an eerie valley. Chapter 323 Mysterious Tomb Translator Born to be little fellow, are you sure you aren't duping me? This is the treasure. Long Chen looked at the huge cave entrance in front of them suspiciously. This cave was emitting an extremely sinister air. Yes, I'm sure. I feel like there's a very great opportunity here, said Guo Ran confidently. Then why do I feel such a sinister air? It looks like a tomb. Looking at the huge mountain, he saw it was completely bare and black. Without a single strand of grass, it was filled with a sense of decay. It didn't seem at all like a treasure. It doesn't just look like a tomb. It really is an ancient tomb, said Guo Ran. You want to be a Graveriber? Long Chen was slightly surprised. Aya, boss, Graveriber is such an ugly word. We're just going in to study the ancient culture and explore the historical remains. Let me tell you boss, I'm sure there's treasures inside here. I entered here before, but I was forced out by others. If I hadn't run out fast enough, I would have ended up losing my life. Guo Ran was somewhat indignant. You've already entered before. Yup. Look, this is a rock I picked up from inside there. Guo Ran showed him a certain stone. Receiving that stone, Long Chen couldn't help being startled. This egg-sized stone was black and completely unremarkable. However, it had to weigh over a thousand pounds. Then lightly squeezing, he found that it was extremely hard as well. Now that he had advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm, his physical strength was shocking. A light squeeze of his hand could easily crush steel, but this unremarkable stone wasn't damaged at all. Even as Long Chen increased his strength, there was not the slightest reaction. How is it? It's something good, right? If I could purify the essence out of this, it would definitely make a good weapon, exclaimed Guo Ran. He could now count as a dabbler in forging arts, as an occupational disease. He was obsessed with these kinds of rare materials. It really is something good. Long Chen nodded. Although he didn't know what the origin of this stone was, it was terrifyingly hard. If it was refined, it could make a terrifying weapon. However, this one piece was too small. Once it was refined, there wouldn't be much left. Who were you forced out by? Have people already entered? Asked Long Chen. Fuck. Just thinking about it pisses me off. I entered the earliest and found that it was an extremely complicated set of caves. It should be the tomb of a shocking person from long ago. Not long after I had entered, I ended up walking in a circle. 
I ended up returning to the entrance, but on the way I also picked up this stone. At that time, quite a few monastery disciples appeared. As soon as those bastards saw me, they told me to hand over the treasure. I said I had only just entered, and they believed me, as if I had really entered deeper. I wouldn't have just dithered near the entrance. Since I didn't have any treasure, they told me to scram and wouldn't let me stay in the caves. What do you say boss? Isn't it infuriating? They acted like they owned the place. When I said I wouldn't leave, the four of them ganged up on me. From their vicious attitude, they definitely wanted my life. I couldn't beat them, especially since one of them was a favored. So I was forced out, explained Guo Ran furiously. Ugh, give it up. You think I don't know you? Stop acting like you suffered such a huge grievance. If you really were to bring out your true methods, I don't believe you'd suffer any loss. Little fellow, get to the point. Is there a need for you to beat around the bush like this? Long Chen really did understand Guo Ran too well. Although his personal combat ability wasn't high, that little fellow had studied all kinds of things, becoming crafty enough to take people's lives. No, it should be said he had become wretched enough to take people's lives. Even Long Chen didn't know how many life-preserving trump cards he had. Otherwise, he wouldn't have fought to get him a spot for the Jiuli secret realm. He, boss really is boss. Nothing can hide in front of you. Yes, I deliberately left. But that doesn't change the fact that they assaulted me. Guo Ran quibbled. Long Chen's expression was odd, and he looked at Guo Ran's bot, doubtfully asking, Assault? They wanted to screw you. PFFT. Boss, you really are becoming more and more vulgar. Guo Ran almost coughed up blood. Okay, let's get down to business then. With boss here, we won't have to put up with any more of this crap, whether it's from the corrupt path or the righteous path, said Long Chen. His voice was filled with confidence and a cold killing intent. After having heard that distant, ancient voice, Long Chen felt as if he no longer had any time to waste. Although he couldn't figure out where the voice came from, he sensed a huge crisis drawing close. He had to get stronger. He didn't have time to try to use smarts to resolve these troubles. The simplest, most direct, most effective way to resolve troubles was through martial might. Those righteous disciples were slowing down his cultivation speed which was equivalent to getting Long Chen killed as well as killing the people beside him. He didn't care whether they were part of the plot or whether they were misled. Anyone who wanted to kill his people only had one ending, death. Hearing Long Chen's words, Guo Ran's heart shook. It seemed that after advancing to tendon transformation, Long Chen had gained some sort of indescribably domineering aspect that would make anyone feel reverence for him. What was your goal in backing out of here? Asked Long Chen. He. I wanted them to explore and find the path. I feel like this tomb isn't so simple. There's not even a mark on this map. Furthermore, look at the dirt outside. It's all very fresh. In other words, this tomb only appeared in the last 20 years. Some kind of change in the secret realm should have brought it above ground. When I entered, I felt like it was a maze. It's shockingly large inside. In any case, my strength is limited, and it's more fun to go at it in a group than by myself. After those righteous disciples made me leave, I ran into some powerful righteous disciples and, for a very cheap price, I told them about this tomb's position so they could explore it for themselves. So you were really just using them to find the right path. Long Chen almost laughed. Yup, that tomb is shockingly large, and I don't have the ability to consume it all on my own. With this many people helping out, I'll be able to slip in and hopefully get an advantage. But if I had known that you would arrive, I wouldn't have shouted for so many people to come. Us two brothers could have consumed it all for our own. TCH. Guo Ran sighed gloomily. What is it? Guo Ran was a bit embarrassed. Maybe my conning skills are too powerful, but a couple chosen ended up going in. More importantly, even corrupt disciples heard of it and quite a few powerful figures came over. Ah, maybe they're fighting and killing each other inside at this very moment. Well, you know me. I don't like being splashed by blood. So I just hid in the distance, waiting without saying anything. Long Chen was speechless. This little fellow really was evil, but the little fellow's way of handling the situation was very much to Long Chen's taste. That kind of style could be summed up in the following. Even if I can't beat you, I can still play you to death. Let's go in and take a look. Long Chen walked through the sinister entrance with Guo Ran. The instant he did, that sinister air penetrated him straight through to his bones. He had only just walked in tens of meters before seeing two corpses lying on the ground, their blood already dry. Ordinarily, 
tendon transformation cultivator's blood would still look fresh for three days after dying. From the look of these two corpses, they should have died over a week ago. From their robes, these two should be righteous disciples. But they weren't wearing robes from the monastery, so they were most likely from another righteous sect. No way, they killed people as soon as they entered. Guo Ran was a bit shocked. They weren't killed by fellow righteous disciples. It was done by corrupt disciples. Look at their injuries. They were all killed with a single attack that came from a crafty angle. That's completely different from the style of the righteous path. Let's keep going. Once they had advanced several hundred meters, it had grown much darker. It was lucky that cultivators had powerful eyesight and they could still see everything in a range of 30 meters. But everything beyond that was murky now. As they were walking, the cave suddenly enlarged, and nine separate paths appeared. This is where I got lost. I picked the middle path back then. Look, there's the mark I left behind. Guo Ran pointed to a mark beside one of the tunnels. Let's go. Long Chen started walking to one of the other tunnels. Boss, how do you know which one is the right one? You spread a faint layer of dust over each one of the entrances. Eight of the nine tunnels have footprints going in and out. But only this cave has no footprints going on. Little fellow, you still have a couple smarts. Guo Ran truly was smart. That faint layer of dust was something he had specially made. It was extremely difficult to see, especially in this dark cave. If Long Chen didn't understand what kind of person Guo Ran was, he could easily have missed it. Boss really is boss, Guo Ran said admiringly. He had been completely convinced by his observation of even this small detail. The two of them continued another 400 meters. The light was growing even darker, and they couldn't even see over 3 meters ahead of them. Guo Ran's hair was standing on end. Guo Ran took out an extremely odd cylinder around half a foot long. One side of the cylinder was covered by tens of tiny holes. This was one of Guo Ran's protective inventions. There was a small trigger that would make it instantly release dozens of steel needles. Each needle had been coated by a powerful poison Long Chen had given him. It was perfectly suited for close-range fighting. Put that toy away. In this darkness, you'd probably end up hitting me. With me present, there's no need for you to do anything advised Long Chen. He knew that this invention shot out needles in a broad area. Although he wouldn't die from that poison with his powerful physical body, he still didn't want to be hit with a poison needle. Guo Ran hastily put it away and laughed mischievously. He, boss is domineering. The two of them continued for a short time when a sharp bend in the path appeared. Just as they turned, a harsh astral wind attacked the two of them. Blood splattered. Chapter 324 Not Distinguishing Right and Wrong Translator Born to be blood splattered, Guo Ran jumped in fright and immediately took out the cylinder he had just put away. He saw that at some unknown time, a spear had appeared in Long Chen's hands. The end of that spear had firmly stabbed into a man's stomach. That man was holding a saber above his head. He was still frozen in his attacking posture. The man looked in disbelief at his stomach. Blood was slowly flowing out from around the spear. Long Chen's spear twisted, and a powerful force erupted from the spear instantly turning the man into a pile of mincemeat. It's a corrupt disciple. Take his spatial ring and let's keep going. Long Chen flung the blood off his spear indifferently. With a random wave of his hand, he had killed a corrupt core disciple. His expression so indifferent that it was like he had killed a rabbit. No, not even a rabbit. Perhaps an ant would be more accurate. Long Chen's expression didn't change at all. Guo Ran could clearly sense that after Long Chen had advanced to tendon transformation, his will had completely transformed. It was even fiercer than before. Seeing how gingerly and disgusted Guo Ran was while he fished out a spatial ring from that pile of flesh, Long Chen was a bit embarrassed. Next time I'll try to hold back a bit. Why would there be a corrupt disciple lying in wait here? Why isn't he searching for the treasures? Guo Ran didn't understand. His strength was average, and he couldn't beat the people inside. If he was a bit careless, he could even lose his life there. It was better for him to ambush people here. If his luck was good, he might have been able to catch some fat sheep, said Long Chen. Since he ran into boss, I'd say his luck wasn't that good, laughed Guo Ran. Well, his appearance is still a warning to us. Those corpses we ran into were all from the righteous path. Most likely there were a couple of powerful corrupt disciples who came in, said Long Chen. On the way, they had run into over ten corpses, all of which were righteous disciples. Furthermore, the way they had died was extremely bitter. Whoever had killed them had been extremely vicious, and it was obvious it had been done by corrupt disciples. Long Chen didn't dare be careless. 
Although his vision wasn't better than Guo Ran's, his soul's divine sense had taken the place of his eyes to see everything almost a mile around him clearly. They continued around another 300 meters when the path once more diverged, this time into three separate tunnels. Long Chen carefully examined the imprints here. Although Guo Ran hadn't left anything special here, Long Chen was still able to distinguish a difference between the paths to pick the path that only had footprints going in, not out. This one, Long Chen pointed to the path on the right. The two of them continued. At this time, the cave was already pitch black. Guo Ran was essentially blind. Not everyone had powerful spiritual strength like Long Chen. And even with spiritual strength, not everyone was able to condense divine sense. Only pill cultivators were blessed with that advantage. They continued for over a mile. That desolate, ancient air was growing stronger. Suddenly, light appeared in front of them. They had arrived at a large lounge. This lounge was extraordinary and was at least 4,000 meters wide. There were four pillars in the lounge that had ancient lines carved into them. On the walls of the lounge were tens of murals. But due to how much time had passed, the majority of them had become damaged. However, some of them were still intact. When Long Chen and Guo Ran entered, there were hundreds of people carefully searching around the lounge. There were dozens of corpses on the ground now, and their blood was still warm. They had clearly died not long ago. The lounge's people were split into two sides. 80% of them were wearing the robes of the righteous path. Amongst those righteous disciples, almost half of them were wearing robes of the Zhuangshan monasteries. When they saw Long Chen enter, many of them appeared shocked. As for the corrupt disciples, there were only 50 to 60 of them. They were all gathered together, closely examining the murals on the wall. They didn't even deign to look in the direction of the righteous disciples who outnumbered them four to one. They were filled with contempt and ridicule for them. In comparison to the corrupt disciples, the righteous disciples looked much more nervous, as they carefully paid attention to their surroundings. There were several holes in the lounge. From the look of them, they seemed freshly dug. Most likely the two sides had noticed something good and fought over it. However, of the corpses on the ground, only one was a corrupt disciple. The rest were all righteous disciples. Obviously, the righteous path hadn't ended up with any advantage despite their numbers. Long Chen, you haven't died. When Long Chen and Guo Ran entered, there was no reaction from the corrupt path. Instead, it was the righteous path's disciples who looked at him with shock, especially those disciples from the Zhuangshan monasteries. Evidence and claims of Long Chen's fiendish actions had been encouraged by someone behind the scenes, and practically all the supermonastery's disciples were aware of it. Even other righteous disciples mostly knew of it, but the rumors also said that Long Chen had been chased after by Yun Luo. According to common sense, even if Long Chen had a hundred lives, Yin Luo would still have ended up killing him. Yet, somehow, Long Chen had now appeared in front of them completely healthy. The corrupt path's disciples were a bit alarmed to hear Long Chen's name. There was a chosen amongst them with black hair that trailed over his shoulders. His eyes were like golden lanterns, and his aura surged like a sea. His eyes narrowed slightly at this time. He was an extremely powerful expert in the corrupt path. Although news of Yun Luo's humiliating defeat Chiring back then had been suppressed by the higher-ups, his elders had still stealthily told him about it due to him being a chosen. That wasn't in order to humiliate Yun Luo but to warn the other chosen. This is what it meant for there to always be people more talented than you. For there to always be a heaven beyond the heavens. In his negligence, even a genius like Yun Luo had ended up suffering. However, that man might be shocked inside, but he didn't reveal any expression on the outside. He simply continued examining the murals. That was because he saw the attitude the righteous disciples treated Long Chen with. They did not seem friendly at all. Long Chen didn't even glance at that person. To Long Chen, the corrupt disciples were his enemies. While the righteous disciples were not necessarily friends. They were just a bunch of trash. Long Chen, you perverted traitor. You fiend. How do you even have the face to live in this world? Today we'll take the place of the heavens for you. One of the core disciples stood up righteously and pointed at Long Chen sternly. Guo Ran's fury immediately ignited. This group of idiots really was hateful. Did they not see all the corrupt disciples that should be their real enemies? They didn't go provoke them. Instead delighting in this internal strife. They were typical models of people who bullied the weak but feared the strong. Seeing how they had cowered in the face of the corrupt disciples. It was obvious they were afraid of them. But as soon as he and Long Chen walked in. It was like they had stepped on their tails. They even adopted this kind of hypocritical righteous act as a justification to denounce Long Chen. Fuck. 
What perverted traitor? All your family's ancestors must have been perverted idiots. You just believe anything anyone tells you? Are your heads filled completely with crap? Are your eyes used to eating other people's crap? Cursed Guo Ran. Just who was Long Chen? He was a god in the hearts of the 108th monastery's disciples. Guo Ran might be the closest brother to Long Chen, but that didn't affect the worshipful feeling he had for Long Chen. How could he accept someone insulting Long Chen in front of him? Courting death. You're the fucking idiot who doesn't know right and wrong. There is irrefutable evidence of Long Chen's wicked sins. You still dare refuse to admit it. Now that you two perverted traitors have run into us, don't even think about walking out alive. Your sins are so great that today we'll take the place of the heavens to kill you. Another disciple righteously raged at them. Take the place of the heavens. Who do you think my boss is? You think he would do such despicable things? As long as someone had eyes, they would be able to see that this was all just a setup. There was clearly someone plotting against Long Chen. Do you not even know that you're just a bunch of tools? Raged Guo Ran. Stop quibbling. Even if you embellish your words even more, it won't conceal your crimes. Did you think just a couple of words from you would be able to dupe us? You really are an idiot. We have ironclad proof. Did you think we'd believe your idiotic nonsense? Sneered one of them. His disdain could not be more obvious. Guo Ran was about to explode from anger. He wished to immediately take out his Void Breaker crossbow and kill this group of idiots. The true enemies were right there, but they had to make things hard on their own people. And they even upheld this act of justice. His teeth were hurting from how hard he was clenching them. You're just a pack of cowards who bully the weak. There are so many corrupt disciples over there, but you don't dare challenge them. They've killed so many of your people, that now it seems you're pissing yourselves in fear. You have two chosen and thirty favored, which is ten times your opponents. But instead, you're like terrified children. With only that little ability, you say you're taking the place of the heavens? It seems you're taking the place of the heavens to piss, said Guo Ran disdainfully. Guo Ran's words immediately provoked a hail of curses from the righteous disciples. Brat, you're courting death. What does an idiot like you understand? This is called strategy, you perverted traitor. You both deserve the death penalty. Yet you dare utter such arrogant words. For a moment, all the righteous disciples were busy throwing curses at them. Guo Ran, come over and look at this mural. While Guo Ran had been sparring with words, Long Chen hadn't even glanced at them. He had gone to a mural and had simply been looking at it this entire time. Now he suddenly called out to Guo Ran. Guo Ran couldn't be bothered with these idiots. He immediately went to Long Chen's side to look at the carving. This was a Senex stone carving. It had been preserved extremely perfectly. It showed an elder holding a hammer that was raised high, ready to pound down. It was an extremely simple image, but both Guo Ran and Long Chen noticed the background more. In the beginning, it had been difficult to tell, but careful examination revealed that there were nine stars twinkling in the heavens. Those nine stars were revolving around one huge star. The blue dome of the heavens was peaceful and auspicious. Most shocking to Long Chen was that when he saw the background, he felt a sorrowful feeling. For some unknown reasons, tears started to appear in his eyes as if this image had provoked some kind of memory. Guo Ran also saw those stars, but the thing he focused on was different from Long Chen. He was completely focused on the Elder's hammer. More accurately, he was looking at the arc and movement of that hammer. Although the swing seemed random, it contained profound laws. The two of them were just standing in front of it the mural. Stunned. Long Chen, you perverted traitor. Now that death has arrived for you, you actually have the heart to look at murals? If you're smart, you'll hurry up and kill yourself right now. An extremely dislikable voice came from the righteous disciples. Chapter 325 Shocking Both Paths Translator Born to be Long Chen, you perverted traitor. Now that death has arrived for you, you actually have the heart to look at murals? If you're smart, you'll hurry up and kill yourself right now. That voice came from a powerful favored. He looked extremely young and yet his eyes were filled with haughtiness. Long Chen didn't even glance at him. He was still completely engrossed with the image of the nine stars, and it was as if he hadn't even heard him. Long Chen, are you deaf? That person was furious that Long Chen was ignoring him. He took a couple steps forward and shouted even louder. Only now did Long Chen slowly awaken from his stupor. Looking at that man, he shook his head, sighing. An ill star is hanging above your head. That means you're fated to die. How regretful to die at such a young age. Long Chen wasn't some virtuous saint, and even a saint probably wouldn't be able to tolerate being insulted and provoked like this. Courting death. People say you're very strong. 
then let me do my own assessment. That favored snorted and took a step over. A mark lit up on his forehead, and his powerful aura erupted. That favored was from the 18th monastery. His cultivation base was powerful, and he was well known even amongst favored. That made him extremely arrogant. Previously he had heard people talking about Long Chen, raising him as a figure almost comparable to Han Shian Ayu, that provoked his arrogant heart. Although none of the righteous disciples wanted to struggle over number one with Han Shian Ayu, many of them thought that if he was taken out of the equation, they could easily contend for the top spot. The 18th monastery had many connections to the first monastery, and had also been told to give Long Chen some special attention in the secret realm. This favored had originally thought that he would have a chance to show off by handling Long Chen, but then, suddenly there came new orders to temporarily not do anything to Long Chen. That news had irritated this favored. However, he hadn't thought of doing anything in particular to oppose it, but now that he had encountered Long Chen today, he was extremely irritated with Long Chen's domineering nature. Ever since entering this place, he hadn't even glanced at any of them, whether it was the corrupt disciples or the righteous disciples. It was like none of them were worth his attention. Guo Ran, prepare yourself, said Long Chen. Don't worry boss, I've long since been prepared. As long as you give the order, I'll immediately attack. Guo Ran had already shown his attitude. He had long since found these idiots to be displeasing. Ah, forget about it. It seems you didn't understand what I meant. Long Chen shook his head and didn't bother with Guo Ran anymore. To the favored who was now accumulating energy, he said. A young person shouldn't be impulsive, or you'll lose your life. That favored's expressions darkened. Long Chen's tone was like he was an experienced and wise senior teaching a junior. Die you perverted traitor. He didn't wait any longer. He shot over right at Long Chen, his sword cutting through the air at Long Chen. Even space was being cut apart by his sword. This attack of his was extremely powerful, causing quite a few disciples' expressions to change. They would not be able to block this sword. That descending sword suddenly paused in midair. A hand had tightly grabbed it. Seeing Long Chen use a single hand to easily grab hold of that favored sword, everyone was completely stunned. That favored sword was a spirit weapon and extraordinarily sharp. It was something that could cut apart metal and jade, capable of slicing a mountain in half. But Long Chen's hand had caught it easily. Even the chosen were shocked. That favored was the most surprised, although he had yet to use his full strength. He had never imagined there to be someone in the same realm who dared use his bare hand to catch his sword. Even Chosen wouldn't dare to do that, right? But Long Chen had. Furthermore, he had done it in such an apathetic manner, that caused that favor to fly into rage out of humiliation. He thought Long Chen was intentionally humiliating him. He didn't believe he could really receive his sword barehanded. He assumed Long Chen must be using some kind of transparent defensive glove, or perhaps some kind of defensive ability. As expected, after advancing to the tendon transformation realm and experiencing the increase in my strength, my body has also become much stronger and harder to injure. That lightning tribulation really is the best way to temper the physical body. Although my body can't compare to spirit weapons, with just a little bit of skill, I can catch a blade barehanded. Long Chen thought to himself. He was extremely satisfied with his current strength. They were all silent. The majority of them were thinking the same thing as that favored. Long Chen had definitely used some kind of defensive technique. They didn't believe he could receive that favored's weapon with his bare hand. As for that favored, he struggled to retrieve his sword. But after pulling three times, he realized he was unable to move it in the slightest from Long Chen's hand. His face was already turning purple from trying. You perverted traitor. Let go. Cursed that favored. Suddenly, a crisp sound rang out. Everyone was horrified to see his sword had been broken in two by Long Chen's hand. Just like that, Long Chen flipped the upper part of the sword and slashed it forward. His movements as fast as lightning. A head flew into the sky, blood spurting several meters into the air. All the righteous disciples were dumbfounded. Only when a head fell dozens of meters away did that headless corpse slowly fall to the ground. The sound of it falling wasn't loud, but it shook all their hearts. Whether it was the righteous disciples or the corrupt disciples, they all felt a chill inside. They had all killed before. When it came to viciousness, no one was able to compare to corrupt disciples. But even the corrupt disciples felt a chill on their necks now. Long Chen's method of killing people had been too clean and efficient. Most terrifying of all, there was not the slightest expression on his face. It was a terrifying calmness. That kind of calm indifference was more terrifying than a savage expression. 
Long Chen killed a powerful favored without batting an eye. Even Guo Ran was dumbfounded. Although he hated the idiots from the righteous path, no matter what, they were all members of the righteous path. He had thought Long Chen would beat this person half dead, break his limbs, and then knock out all his teeth. He had never thought Long Chen would publicly kill someone so directly. That was a grave crime. Long Chen, you dare kill disciples from the same sect. One of the righteous disciples was pale with fright, but he still tried to act strong. Long Chen icily looked over at everyone and smiled coldly. No matter if you are from the righteous path or corrupt path, remember, don't provoke me. I'm busy. I don't have time to be entangled with you. If you want to reincarnate earlier, then come at me now. His words immediately caused an uproar from both paths' disciples. This claim was far too arrogant. HMPH, a brat who doesn't know how high the heavens are or how deep the earth is. With your ability, you dare brag arrogantly started one of the corrupt disciples. Die. The broken sword in Long Chen's hand shot out, directly piercing that person's heart. That kind of speed was incomparable. And most importantly, Long Chen hadn't shown any signs before he suddenly struck. It had happened so suddenly that it didn't give anyone time to guard against it. You, that disciple's jaw dropped. He only managed to say a single word before toppling to the ground. Idiots from the corrupt path, you should do your best to take it easy. Whether my mood is good or bad, it'd be better for you to not appear in front of me, and try especially not to fart in front of me, as then I'll kill you, said Long Chen. The corrupt disciples were infuriated, and they all took out their weapons. Long Chen didn't look at them instead continuing to examine the murals. This was a humiliation, a naked humiliation of disregarding them. The corrupt path soul chosen was tightly clenching his fists. A terrifying light was shining in his eyes. Senior apprentice brother, it's not advantageous for us to fight here. Searching for treasures is more important, advised a corrupt favored. The current situation in the lounge was extremely strained. Their corrupt disciples had fewer numbers but they had just barely managed to suppress the righteous disciples slightly. They had provoked them several times, even killing several of their disciples. Although the righteous disciples had been infuriated, they were all uncooperative. That was especially true of the two chosen. They were ignoring everything else, instead doing their best to preserve their energy. They wouldn't easily take action. Over half the righteous disciples came from the Zhuanshan monasteries, and while they seemed like a cohesive group on the outside, in truth, they were all selfish individuals. Long Chen's arrival had broken this equilibrium, but the corrupt disciples had not expected that these righteous disciples seemed to have some sort of great enmity with Long Chen. Instead of joining hands, they had actually begun to fight. In this strained situation, whether it was the righteous or corrupt disciples, no one wished to go all out against Long Chen, as that would end up benefiting the other party. The corrupt chosen also understood that reasoning. However, he was unable to swallow his rage. Long Chen was just too arrogant. Fine. Long Chen. Hopefully I'll have a chance to experience your power later to see if you're really deserving of being so arrogant. Whether or not they fought, he had to at least get some words in. Otherwise, if he was suppressed in terms of imposingness, that would affect his group's morale. Whenever you want to go reincarnate, come find me. Long Chen still didn't even glance at him. Long Chen's ability to infuriate him really was amazing. As the corrupt chosen almost exploded, his fists creaking from how hard he was clenching them, but he still didn't do anything to Long Chen. No matter what the result was, if he fought Long Chen, he would end up losing out. This ancient tomb was filled with odd mysteries. Fighting all out here wasn't smart, so he could only endure it. Seeing that the fierce corrupt disciples didn't dare do any more, the righteous disciples also didn't continue with Long Chen. They all turned to examine the murals hoping to find the mysteries of the ancient tomb. Boss, I feel like there's an extremely large opportunity for me in this ancient tomb, Guo Ran said to Long Chen. Chapter 326 Terrifying Mechanisms Translator Born to be boss, I feel like there's an extremely large opportunity for me in this ancient tomb. How do you know? Long Chen was a bit flabbergasted. Look boss, on these murals, the leading role is mostly this elder creating something. I think this ancient tomb is very likely the tomb of a forging master. Craftsmen usually bring their life's experiences and insights with them to their tomb, not even leaving them to their disciples, said Guo Ran. Long Chen nodded slightly. Guo Ran's thinking was reasonable. Even since ancient times, craftsmen all liked to hold back their trade secrets. Most grand figures had all kept some of their learnings private and brought them into their tombs or even coffins. 
This led to later generations losing out on many cultivation techniques and battle skills. Later, many people set their eyes on those ancient tombs. Of course, it was only possible to disturb the tombs of people without descendants. If you were to dig up the coffins of people's ancestors, that would be an unforgivable offense. No one would do something like that. But it was an absolute fact that the majority of experts all liked to do something like this when they died. They would bring the things they were most proud of in their lifetimes to their coffins. Sometimes when an inheritance had been severed, it was possible to enter an ancestor's tomb to revive that inheritance. As for this ancient tomb in front of them, it had to come from a shockingly distant past. If this tomb's master had left behind their inheritance, it would definitely be amazing. Long Chen felt that Guo Ran's inference was very likely. He couldn't help being a bit disappointed. That was because he had seen the image of those nine stars twinkling in the sky. He thought that perhaps he could find some clues about the nine star hegemon body art inside the tomb. But Long Chen realized that other than that one mural with the nine stars in the background, the other murals were all entirely related to forging items. This ancient tomb's master was most likely a forging master, and the murals were most likely in commemoration of his work. Long Chen had no interest in forging items, but Guo Ran was now pretty much obsessed with it. So this really was a huge opportunity for him. The two of them continued examining the murals. Now the people inside the lounge had been split into three parties. The Righteous Party, the Corrupt Party, and Long Chen's Party. Although Long Chen and Guo Ran were just two people, no one dared look down on them in the slightest. Oh, there's a circle in this mural. Suddenly, a righteous disciple saw an extremely unremarkable circle in one of the murals. That circle was the eye of a ferocious beast in the mural. However, the beast was extremely lifelike, and so it was a bit odd for its only eye to be so perfectly round Noveloon.com at the beginning. No one had noticed that oddity, as this kind of beast had already gone extinct in the outside world. None of them had even heard of it. They had all just assumed this beast's eye was just like that. However, these people had been searching for several days now without finding any major clues. Thus they had begun to pay attention to the smaller details, and finally found this eye was a bit strange. Getting even closer, he realized there was a button in the center of the eye. That person lightly pressed on it. Suddenly, the ancient tomb began to violently shake. Everyone's expressions changed. If the ancient tomb collapsed, they would all definitely die. The ground at the center of the lounge suddenly split open, revealing a large set of stone stairs going straight down. For such a passageway to appear all of a sudden, both the righteous and corrupt disciples instantly charged over but they had only gone in a couple steps down when holes suddenly appeared on the walls and countless arrows shot out, instantly taking over 10 lives. The passageway was only 3 meters wide, and in such a narrow space, there was nowhere to dodge. Furthermore, with people charging in behind you, there was no way to retreat. Thus, all of them that had entered had been turned into hedgehogs. All of them had thought that the treasure would be right past this hole, and they were afraid of others reaching it first. However, the people who had thought that were comparatively weak. The stronger people hadn't been afraid of others getting there first, as even if others obtained it, they could still take it from them. Now that this had happened, everyone retreated, looking at this opening in shock. They now realized that they couldn't even see the bottom of this hole. Both Long Chen and Guo Ran were sneering. Did this group of idiots think that the craftsman owner of this tomb would be so foolish? If there really was an inheritance, how could they not leave trials or traps for people? Did they think it was so easy to rob tombs? There was definitely a correct way to get to the true treasure. Without using that method, there would be all sorts of mechanisms to activate that would kill you. Suddenly, one of the experts took out two round shields, placed them around himself to form a ball, and tried rolling down. What a good idea. This method caused everyone's eyes to brighten. As long as they tightly covered their entire bodies, they had no need to fear these arrows but they had only just prepared themselves to copy this person when he let out a miserable scream. Everyone saw that he had been fine for the first while, but at the 60 meter mark, the walls stopped shooting arrows. Instead, they shot javelins. Those javelins were over an inch thick and extraordinarily sharp. That person's shields had been like eggshells in front of those javelins, and he had instantly died, but at least he could count as dying happily. Up to this point, he was the one who had the record for entering the farthest. Now that this had happened, all of them were dumbstruck. Unless it was a shield on the spirit weapon level, that kind of attack was unblockable. But the material to make spirit weapons was precious, and they were usually used for attack items. Few people made defensive ones. Furthermore, 
You would need two of them. Without two of them to protect you, there was no chance of you passing. Boss, do you have any ideas? Guo Ran was starting to feel itchy just looking at those powerful mechanisms. This tomb's master probably wasn't a particularly amazing figure. I should be able to send you in, said Long Chen. Boss, how can you tell that this tomb's master wasn't so amazing? Because those mechanisms on the walls are all triggered by touch. In other words, as long as a person doesn't touch the ground, you won't trigger the walls to attack you, said Long Chen. If you don't touch it, then doesn't that mean you'd have to fly? Yup, as long as you can fly, you'll be able to pass. In other words, these mechanisms are only useful on those at the Xi'anshan realm and below. Above the Xi'anshan realm, it'd be possible to transform spiritual key into wings and just fly down. Furthermore, that passageway is only a thousand meters deep, and it seems there are a total of nine different sets of mechanisms, going from weak to strong. So I can deduce this tomb's master wasn't a top expert. The tombs of top experts wouldn't concentrate all the traps in one place like this. They would set up countless checkpoints each checkpoint having different traps. Furthermore, you've also seen that the maze of the tomb wasn't particularly complicated or large. It's possible to tell the master's status, explained Long Chen. Guo Ran nodded. This tomb's specifications didn't correspond with the status of top experts. He was a bit disappointed. Then is this all worthless? You're wrong. This should make you happy. If this really was the tomb of a top expert, then just with our weak cultivation basis, wouldn't going in be no different from giving away your life? Laughed Long Chen. Guo Ran's eyes immediately brightened. That was very true. How could the tomb of top experts be so easily disturbed? So even if there's an opportunity in front of you, you have to first have the right fate for it. This opportunity should be perfect for you, said Long Chen. No matter what kind of person this tomb's master had been, if there really were treasures inside, they would definitely be amazing for them at their current level. As for whether there really was treasure at the bottom, that was a gamble. It was a gamble that could take their lives. But cultivation itself was a gamble. Sometimes luck was more important than strength. Miserable screams were continuing to ring out, as some people were still unconvinced and continued trying various methods to enter. But they all failed, leading to one ending. All those who failed lost their lives. It was extremely cruel. It was just like Long Chen had said. Unless you were above the Xi'anshan realm and could fly you wouldn't be able to enter. Suddenly, one of the corrupt experts sent out a flying claw and pulled up one of the javelins. That flying claw's chain was very long, and was able to go down a hundred meters. But that was its limit, as it couldn't grow longer. Wow, this material is comparable to a spirit weapon. The corrupt disciples all let out surprised cries when they examined the javelin's material. This javelin weighed several thousand pounds. When they tried stabbing it into the ground, a hole was instantly pierced into the stone. They were all stunned. They all looked at the walls of that channel. There were no marks at all. These spears had all shot out of the walls to collide with the other side of the wall. But there was not the slightest damage on the walls. Wouldn't that mean the material of this channel was even harder? Even the stone wall was a treasure. Then just what kind of treasure was at the bottom? They all burned with passion to find it. Do you think we could continuously touch on the triggers and make the mechanisms use up all their ammo? Once they're exhausted, wouldn't we be able to pass? One of the righteous disciples' eyes lit up. Idiot. Did you think the designer was as stupid as you? How could they not plan for such a simple method? Even if they shot so much that the entire passageway was filled, the mechanism still wouldn't run out. Then at that time, how will you even go find the treasure? Ridiculed a corrupt disciple. You. The righteous disciple was infuriated and wanted to curse him. But looking at how savage he looked, he bit his lip and swallowed his words back down. Stop crapping all over the place. This isn't the latrine. Let your grandpa Guo show you what a heaven-startling method is. Guo Ran's extremely arrogant words rang out, causing everyone's gazes to fall on him. Chapter 327 Courting Death Translator Born to be stop crapping all over the place. This isn't the latrine. Let your grandpa Guo show you what a heaven-startling method is. Guo Ran's arrogant words immediately drew everyone's attention. Guo Ran and Long Chen both went to the passageway. The righteous and corrupt disciples all took a step back. In the righteous disciples' eyes, Long Chen was a true corrupt disciple. In the corrupt disciples' eyes, Long Chen was fiendish enough to make even them feel terror. As for Guo Ran, when he saw that he was able to make all of them retreat with just his voice, he couldn't help being delighted. Although he was borrowing Long Chen's fame to intimidate them, that didn't make him feel the slightest bit unnatural. 
His boss's glory was his glory. Everyone was glaring at them. When Guo Ran saw that even the favored and powerful chosen were being forced back by him, Guo Ran's heart practically bloomed flowers. Although both parties were irritated with Guo Ran's display, seeing that he wanted to try it out, they naturally wouldn't stop him from sending himself to his death. Many of them had already tried countless methods, but none of them had managed to enter. None of them believed an ordinary core disciple like Guo Ran could enter. However, they did think it was possible for Long Chen to have thought of some trick. They just waited to see what Long Chen would do. Boss, I've already bragged loudly. Are you sure you can send me through? Don't mess up. As that really be embarrassing? Guo Ran whispered to Long Chen. Don't worry. There definitely won't be any problems. Once I send you in, stay and wait for me. Long Chen whispered back. Long Chen's voice had his spiritual strength entwined in it. Others were only able to see Long Chen's lips moving, but they were unable to clearly hear what he was saying. Okay. What should I do boss? Guo Ran immediately became confident and began to act arrogantly again. Bend your knees slightly and clasp your hands over your chest. Lean forward slightly. Guo Ran listened obediently, and quickly entered an extremely eye-catching posture. His butt was sticking out highly, and it was pointed at the righteous and corrupt disciples. He even wiggled it seductively a couple times. Whether it was the righteous or corrupt disciples, they were all clenching their teeth painfully thinking that the two of them were intentionally humiliating them. Get going. Just as Guo Ran was feeling incredibly refreshed by how those people were turning purple from rage, Long Chen kicked him right in the butt. Ah, what the fuck? Guo Ran was kicked flying towards the passageway by Long Chen. He turned green from fear, but then Guo Ran quickly realized that Long Chen's kick had been controlled perfectly, and the path he was flying was the exact center of the passageway. He wouldn't touch any of the steps or walls. He shot down extremely fast, reaching the end of the passageway in just an instant. He landed on the bottom extremely easily. When everyone had seen Long Chen kick Guo Ran into the passage, they had thought Long Chen was trying to kill Guo Ran. But then when they saw Guo Ran's flight path, their eyes all lit up. This was also a method? The reason none of them had thought of this was because they didn't have Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength. None of them had any idea about how deep this passageway was. But since they didn't hear any scream from Guo Ran, it seemed he had managed to pass safely. Suddenly, a figure stamped on the ground and shot forward, also rushing down the passageway. This figure was moving even faster than Guo Ran had. It's Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> you want to pass? Die. Suddenly, the two righteous chosen attacked at the same time, shooting out over ten throwing knives at Long Chen. Long Chen was infuriated. These despicable bastards really wanted him to kill them. Seeing those throwing knives coming at him, he raised his arms. His hands were like lightning, and he surprisingly managed to catch every single one of those knives. At the same time, he borrowed their power to shoot down faster. Everyone attack. Those two chosen hadn't expected Long Chen to have such precise control. As long as one of their knives had managed to touch the walls, that would have activated the mechanisms, and Long Chen would have definitely died. In truth, before the two of them had even said anything, People had already taken action to throw down knives, daggers, pellets, and other weapons at Long Chen. Some of the righteous disciples who had been hesitating now also went to attack as well. Even the corrupt experts were attacking. Everyone was shooting down a rain of weapons. Long Chen was startled, furious, and worried. There was no way he could dodge this many attacks, let alone catch them all. And most importantly, the majority of them weren't aimed at him this time, but for the walls beside him. In the face of this many attacks, even Long Chen's expression changed. He wasn't afraid of these attacks, but the result of them. However, Long Chen didn't just watch as those attacks fell. His aura completely exploded, and he slashed out his saber. A terrifying wave of key sent those weapons flying. Those were all concealed weapons used for surprise attacks. They were mostly only seen in the secular world, as cultivators rarely used them. Cultivators cared more about strength. They looked down on concealed weapons, so the power of these concealed weapons wasn't very high. However, they hadn't had any extravagant hopes of these weapons killing Long Chen, or even injuring him. The result they wanted had already happened. As expected, the wave of key and broken weapons shook the passageway. Long Chen was already more than halfway down at this point, when suddenly countless stone holes opened on the wall, releasing steel arms. Those arms all held a hammer that was the size of a small desk. They crazily smashed down repeatedly, releasing ear-piercing explosions. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, this time you were surprisingly good. 
Quite a few righteous disciples laughed heartily when they saw those mechanisms activate. Those hammers possessed the power to pound a person to mincemeat. As for Guo Ran, he was filled with fury and hatred when he saw Long Chen being harmed by so many people. Hysterical Autumn Wind Dance. A golden saber appeared in Long Chen's hand, and Saber Ki appeared everywhere, surging out of the passageway. The ear-piercing explosions from the hammers caused the entire tomb to shake. Occasionally rubble from the ceiling would collapse down, causing everyone to scatter. They worried the entire tomb would come crashing down. At this time, not only were they shocked at how terrifying the ancient tomb's mechanisms were, they were also shocked by Long Chen's combat ability. The explosive sound coming from the passageway meant Long Chen had yet to die at this time and was still struggling. Suddenly, the passageway returned to calm. Only then did everyone come back to see that all the steel arms had returned within the walls. Did he die? There's no corpse. Was he torn to pieces? There's blood stains on the walls. He should be dead. Right. They all saw the blood on the walls. That should be Long Chen's. But there wasn't much blood on the walls. If Long Chen really had been smashed to pieces, there should have been much more. They couldn't see the bottom of the passageway. So they had no idea whether his corpse was lying there or not. At this time, someone threw down a light stone. It was a special ore that could emit a bright light for a short period once activated. But after it used up all its energy, it couldn't be used again. So it would be turned to garbage. In the outside world, it had quite a high price. When people had entered the lounge, there had been three people who had used that ore to light up the entire lounge. At this time, in order to confirm Long Chen's death, they had no choice but to endure the pain and throw another one down. That immediately lit up the entire passageway. Oh? So this passageway is only a thousand meters deep. Previously, they had all thought it was extremely deep, as they hadn't been able to see the bottom. I don't see Long Chen's corpse, other than the blood stains. There was no sign of Long Chen's passing. They could see the floor at the bottom, but due to how narrow the passageway was, they couldn't see it very clearly. Boss, how could you die here? Those damnable sons of beaches, they should all be struck by heavenly lightning right now. They should all die. Guo Ran's sobbing rang out from within the passageway, delighting all of them. Long Chen's death caused them all to sigh a breath of relief. For an amazing hero like Boss to die here so tragically, how am I supposed to keep on living? Guo Ran's voice was extremely mournful, and just listening to it could fill a person with grief. Hey, that's good enough. Why are you crying like that? Even I'm starting to think I'm dead, whispered Long Chen. Long Chen's right shoulder had been gravely injured, with even his bone sticking out. That was an injury caused by one of the hammers. Just thinking of those huge hammers gave Long Chen some fear. If such a hammer had landed on his head, would he even have a life left? When he had passed through the huge hammers, he had also used them to send himself straight through the last layers of mechanisms to reach the bottom. If he were to have activated the final mechanisms, Long Chen estimated that he would definitely have died. When he had charged through those huge hammers, Devil Decapitator hadn't been able to bear it, and several large nicks had been smashed into it, causing Long Chen endless pain. Those hammers had been too terrifying. At the same time, he felt incredible hate for those people outside. Compared to the corrupt disciples, Long Chen hated the righteous disciples far more. He hadn't expected that it would be his fellow righteous disciples who would instigate this attack on him. Furthermore, every one of them had helped. That caused Long Chen's killing intent to boil. Boss, only by crying like this can I make it seem like you're really dead. How else are we going to trick them to enter? Guo Ran smiled sinisterly. Just as he said that, another figure jumped in using the same method as Long Chen. Chapter 328 Play You All to Death Translator Born to be Guo Ran's smile practically glowed as he took out an iron bead. He randomly tossed it into the passageway. A miserable scream rang out. That fellow had only gotten halfway down when Guo Ran's bead struck the wall. Countless pikes had instantly pierced countless holes into that person's body. He had died immediately after screaming. Bastard. Both the righteous and corrupt disciples were infuriated. Guo Ran had actually followed their example, using the same method they had used against Long Chen on them. Now it was their turn to suffer. Go fuck yourselves. You caused my boss to die. Don't even think about getting any of the treasures that are here. Guo Ran sneered. Long Chen had already consumed a healing pill and was currently recovering from his injury. It was an injury that looked frightening. But in truth, it was just an outer wound that would quickly recover. Little brat, even if we can't obtain it, do you think you can keep those treasures? We'll just guard here. Ask yourself, how do you plan on ever leaving? 
said one of them disdainfully. He, who cares if I can't leave? If you have the ability, then go ahead and waste time with Grandpa Guo here. At most you'll only have to wait a year without searching for any other opportunities. Mock Guo Ran. That immediately caused a chill in their hearts. If Guo Ran really did plan on being obstinate, then with these terrifying mechanisms, there was no way for them to pass through. This tomb had been preserved extremely perfectly. Some disciples had already found some precious ores. Those precious ores seemed to have been treated as just trash by the tomb's owner. They had just been randomly left lying around. In other words, there was definitely an even greater treasure beyond this passageway. But with Guo Ran guarding it, even Chosen would probably die. None of them were willing to risk it. Furthermore, the people present were split into two parties, each harboring their own ulterior motives. There was no way they could work together to handle Guo Ran. Little fellow, let's discuss this. Long Chen raped and killed an innocent woman, and is despised by the entire righteous path. Now that he's already dead, the punishment for all his crimes has solely landed on his shoulders. I, Xiao Mingxian, will use the 17th monastery's name to swear that as long as you let us pass, we will testify that you are innocent so that you don't receive any injustice. The person speaking was a chosen from the 17th monastery. His status was quite high, so his words did have weight. Dot. Really Guo Ran's voice was clearly trembling. Of course. I, Xiao Mingxian, swear not to investigate any of your previous crimes, and will also help you testify that everything was done only by Long Chen. Everything you personally did was all because Long Chen forced you to do. Xiao Mingxian's voice clearly held some excitement now. Guo Ran sneered inside. Even now, you want to play these word games with me? You won't investigate my crimes at that time but you can just throw me to the corrupt disciples to kill me instead. Then I'm relieved. Guo Ran hesitated before saying this. He looked at Long Chen. Seeing the wound was quickly healing. He purposely stalled for some time. He didn't dare mess around as Long Chen focused on healing. He decided to stall for as long as he could. In any case, playing around with them was more fun than just waiting around. Are you looking down on me? How could? Xiao Mingxian, a grand chosen possibly try to trick an ordinary disciple. Xiao Mingxian's voice contained some offended anger. Guo Ran was silent in response to that, seeming to hesitate. Xiao Mingxian looked at one of the core disciples. That core disciple nodded and jumped into the passageway. Suddenly, a scream rang out. That righteous disciple had been stabbed to death by the flying pikes. Guo Ran was stunned. He had yet to even throw out a bead. How had he died? You, what are you doing? Xiao Mingxian was furious. He was glaring at the corrupt disciples chosen. It had been one of the corrupt disciples that had shot out an attack to activate the mechanisms. Killing that core disciple. What do you think? The corrupt chosen indifferently replied. If your disciples pass, then all the benefits will be taken by you. What about us? The righteous disciples were infuriated. At the same time, they also understood they had run into a thorny problem. Obviously the corrupt disciples wouldn't let them do as they wished. What do you want? Do you think I'll let your disciples go down first? Raged Xiao Mingxian. How about this? We'll send our disciples in one by one. We'll also make sure their cultivation bases are similar, so that neither party suffers. Suggested the corrupt chosen. Keep dreaming. It was us righteous disciples who discovered this passageway and who found the way to enter. Why should we have to split it evenly with you? A favored from the righteous path cursed back. Long Chen is a righteous disciple? He. How come I can't tell? So righteous disciples died to the hands of righteous disciples? It seems the righteous path really doesn't care about face anymore. Sneered the corrupt chosen. That person's words immediately caused the righteous disciples' faces to burn as if they had been slapped in the face. Their enemies were now laughing at them for the internal strife within the righteous path. Long Chen is a traitor of our righteous path. Our killing of him was just cleaning up our path. But no matter what, Long Chen is still a disciple of our righteous path and so his accomplishments are the righteous path's accomplishments, quibbled Xiao Mingxian. Haha, I really have to admire you righteous disciples. You're clearly being contemptible and shameless, and yet you still try to act devoted to righteousness. Even if us corrupt disciples tried for 10,000 years, we still wouldn't be able to do something like that. Of course, it's always beneath our dignity to learn such garbage. Right now, I won't talk reason with you. Let me just say this, if you don't consent. Then let's start fighting. The one alive at the end will decide who gets the treasure. The corrupt chosen's expression was icy, and the disciples behind him all took out their weapons and released their auras. 
They seemed like hungry, bloodthirsty wolves as they stared tightly at the righteous disciples. Do you think us righteous disciples fear you? All you're doing right now is causing both parties to be injured. There's no meaning behind that, raged the chosen beside Xiao Mingxin. Those righteous disciples were filled with fury, but at the same time, it was impossible for them to conceal their panic. The corrupt disciples were different from righteous disciples. Being savage was their nature, and they were not afraid of death. If they really fought, it would be an extremely bitter fight. Everyone had gone into the Jiuli secret realm in search of opportunities. They all knew that if they could find a heaven-defying opportunity in the secret realm, they would immediately be able to soar to the heavens, their radiance lighting up the world. So they didn't want to fight here, even though one of their comrades had died. As long as they weren't closely related, they would still choose to ignore it. And that was why the righteous path was just like a pack of loose sand. Although there were many of them, they rarely fought back, causing them to be suppressed by the corrupt path. Furthermore, in Xiao Mingxian's eyes, this kind of fight had no meaning. No matter who won, they would still have to pass through this terrifying passageway in the end. Guo Ran was still blocking them, but the corrupt chosen didn't care the slightest bit about this reasoning. His attitude was simple. Either listen to him, or have a decisive fight. Senior apprentice brother Zhao, fighting here isn't smart. It'd be better to do what they say. It won't be too late to fight once we find the real treasure, advised someone quietly. Xiao Mingxian had a stomach full of anger. Their side had two chosen, so they definitely suppressed their opponents in terms of total strength. But they all knew how vicious corrupt disciples were. Even if the two of them were able to kill the corrupt chosen in the end, he would likely leave them with heavy injuries in his final moments, and perhaps even drag them down with him. That was also why the corrupt disciples were so unbridled. The righteous disciples had always had to endure everything since their two chosen didn't want to fight. Fine, we'll take a step back. Both of us will send one disciple down at a time. But you have to swear that before we see the true treasure, none of you will start a fight. Xiao Mingxin finally compromised. No problem. The corrupt chosen was smiling indifferently, but his eyes were filled with ridicule. Xiao Mingxin was furious, but before seeing the true treasure, he didn't want to go all out. Who knew whether that treasure would be worth suffering losses? The monastery had instilled a certain ideology in his head. As a chosen, he was a pillar of their monastery, and his life was more important than others. He couldn't fight for no reason. In the eyes of the two chosen, the others were just plebeians, unable to compare to grand existences like them. For them to fight with others was like using precious porcelain to smash rats. The two sides quickly chose two ordinary disciples. With a wave of their hands, two favored sent them dropping into the passageway. Hey, wait a sec. Suddenly, Guo Ran voice rang out, followed by the sound of an iron bead. Then, the sounds of the mechanisms activating rang out, followed by the now familiar sounding screams. Bastard, what are you doing? Both Xiao Mingxian and the corrupt chosen raged at the same time. Ah, uh, you're too hurried. I feel it's not proper. Guo Ran's apprehensive voice rang out from below. What's not proper? Xiao Mingxian's eyes were about to spit flames. If Guo Ran was in front of him, he definitely would have slapped him to death. Ah, uh, I'm afraid, replied Guo Ran's worried voice. What are you afraid of? Xiao Mingxian did his best to restrain his temper. I'm afraid you'll break your word. If you end up reneging, wouldn't I instantly die? All the chosen were infuriated and a merciless light shined in their eyes. Guo Ran was definitely try to anger them to death. What do you want? Xiao Mingxian suppressed his fury. You have to swear, said Guo Ran. Fine, we swear. The Chosen were all helpless. They could only swear an extremely poisonous oath so they could hurry this along. But the two of them were extremely smart. They swore that the two of them definitely wouldn't investigate what crimes Guo Ran had done, and that they also wouldn't take their anger out on him. Fine, I'll believe you then. Guo Ran's reply finally caused the Chosen to sigh with relief. Both Xiao Mingxian and the corrupt Chosen purposely glanced at one of their people. Chapter 329 Ice Gold Black Vein Iron Translator Born to be fine, I'll believe you. After Guo Ran's reply, Xiao Mingxian and the corrupt Chosen both cast a meaningful glance at one of their subordinates. Those two people immediately understood that after they passed through the passageway, they were to immediately get rid of that hateful brat. The two of them quickly shot down the passageway. They were both favored, so they reached the halfway point in an instant. A. Hey, demons from the corrupt path. How dare you try to invade my righteous path's territory. Die. Suddenly, a noble and virtuous voice rang out. A handful of iron beads shot out. 
smashing along the wall of the passageway. No, the two of them instantly despaired. Countless steel hands appeared out of the walls, carrying the same hammers that had smashed Long Chen. The two of them did their best to block a couple of them, but there were too many of them. Those two powerful favored were smashed to pulp. After they died, their Dao marks floated through the stone wall and disappeared without a trace. Everyone was dumbfounded. They looked at the mass of pulp and flesh stuck to the passageway now. Even the bones had been crushed to pieces. Bastard Guo, you're courting death. The corrupt chosen let out a furious roar. He almost lost control and personally charged into the passageway. How am I courting death? If you're going to send people down here, you should be a bit more earnest. How can you send someone so repulsive? That corrupt disciple looked like a zombie who had climbed out of his own tomb, and was way too frightening. I couldn't help myself from getting him killed. Ah, sorry, sorry. Pick someone who looks a bit nicer next time. Unfortunately, my courage is particularly small. Guo Ran somehow managed to sound wronged. The Chosen instantly understood Guo Ran had never had any intentions of letting them through. Everything he had done was just an act. You're playing us. The corrupt Chosen once more roared furiously, his voice causing the entire tomb to quiver. Hey, don't wrongly accuse the innocent. How have I played you? I'm just having some fun with you because I'm so bored down here. Laughed Guo Ran. Whether it was the righteous or corrupt disciples, they were all grinding their teeth furiously. To be duped by this brat, causing two favored die, was a complete disgrace. Could it be? Long Chen didn't die. Hearing Guo Ran's laughter caused all of them to think of a certain possibility. Otherwise, how could Guo Ran laugh so heartily? At this time, the light in the passageway faded. That light stone had been pulled over by Long Chen's spiritual strength. After advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm, Long Chen's spiritual strength had once more advanced. Even Long Chen didn't know what level his current spiritual strength had reached. In any case, pulling over a stone that was just several dozen meters away from him was as easy as raising his hand. Boss, have you recovered? Guo Ran celebrated when he saw Long Chen's actions. Yup, it didn't end up injuring my bones or it would have taken longer. Long Chen nodded, ignoring the people cursing and shouting up there. Long Chen raised the light stone. He saw they were in a huge stone room. The room was square-shaped, with 16 stone pillars that were so thick, it would require several people just to wrap around one of them. The room was simple and crude, and at the center, there was a coffin around 15 meters long. Seems like the treasure should be this coffin, said Long Chen. A normal person's coffin wouldn't be so big. So it's probably packed with something. But don't get your hopes up. This tomb is so ancient. It's more than possible for the treasure to have already disappeared. But Guo Ran wasn't nervous about it. If I obtain it, that's my luck. If I don't, that's just my fate. I'm fine with it either way. I just wonder how we're supposed to open this coffin. There should be a mechanism inside. You search slowly. There are a couple murals over there I want to have a look at. There were four huge murals carved into the walls. They were preserved much more perfectly than the ones outside, and they immediately drew Long Chen's attention. Each one of them depicted a different scene, but they all contained images of humans living in an extremely auspicious and peaceful manner. Could it be that people from this era all lived peacefully? They all helped each other, without struggle or slaughter. Long Chen couldn't help feeling some yearning towards what was depicted. Of the murals, there was one with people doing manual labor together. There was one with people facing off against a ferocious beast. There was one with a child running around playfully. And there was one with a delightful celebration. There was no slaughter or wars. These images caused the entire tomb to be filled with an auspicious air. That was incomprehensible. Was this supposed to mean the tomb owner's death was something worth rejoicing? These drawings were in celebration of the owner's passing? Why were the murals so peaceful down here, without any depictions of struggle? But then the outside was filled with terrifying mechanisms. Long Chen couldn't figure it out. But in any case, the main characters in these images had no meaning to him. Instead, he was deeply attracted to what he saw in the backgrounds of all four murals. The contents of the four murals were different, but their backgrounds were the same. Up in the sky, there were nine small stars revolving around one large star, lighting up the entire world. That large star wasn't like the sun, nor was it like the moon. It was extremely strange, but the background was also extremely harmonious, a scene that caused people to feel comfortable. As for Long Chen, when he saw those nine stars revolving around the large star, he always felt some kind of familiarity, as well as a trace of grief. Boss, come quick, shouted out Guo Ran out of nowhere. What? 
Did you find the way to open the coffin? Long Chen put away his thoughts. No, but look at this. Guo Ran showed off a brick. The brick was around a foot long and completely black. It seemed unremarkable, but there were complicated vein patterns on it that looked similar to ice crystals. Its weight was alarming. As soon as Long Chen touched it, he realized it was ice cold and extremely hard. He tried to squeeze it, but wasn't able to cause it the slightest damage. Instead, it was his fingers that began to feel a bit sore, shocking him. He, boss, we really struck gold. This is made of ice cold black veniron, and its purity is extremely high. In our entire monastery, even senior Kang Ming doesn't have much of it. But look, now it's everywhere around us, exclaimed Guo Ran. This is pretty good stuff, but it's still not as important as the real treasure, said Long Chen. That coffin is extremely bizarre. Somehow the lid is seamless with the rest of the coffin. There's not even a line demarking where the lid starts. Even now, I still can't tell what part is the lid. In fact, I'm even suspicious that this coffin is a fake. That it's just a stone carved into the shape of a coffin. Guo Ran had already become obsessed with becoming an expert craftsman. But even with all his studying... He was still unable to tell what part of this coffin was its lid, and even suspected it to be a dupe. Okay, then let's first collect the bricks. If we can't open the coffin, just these bricks will have made it worth us coming here. The two of them began to collect all the bricks that lined the ground. By the time they gathered them all, their storage rings were completely packed. Seeing that mountain of bricks in his storage ring, Guo Ran almost started dancing from excitement. He, with this material, I can make some really good equipment. But to forge this material, I'd probably need a forging table on the same level as Senior Kang Ming's forging table. But Senior Kang Ming has already said that a forging master's forging table is equivalent to their wife, and has to be cherished closely. He probably won't lend me his wife to use. Guo Ran was helpless. A forging master without a good forging table was like a chef without fire, rice, oil, or salt. No matter how high their cooking skill was, it was useless. A forging table required a huge amount of materials. Even Guo Ran's amateur forging table had required a huge number of points. Without Long Chen supporting him, then even a core disciple would have been bankrupted by Guo Ran's expenses. The formations that smelted special materials all required spirit stones. That was already enough for a person to feel pain. And if a formation wasn't strong enough, there was no way for it to create a strong enough flame to smelt a material like the ice cold black veniron. And so Guo Ran wouldn't be able to make anything with these bricks right now. Don't be discouraged. We'll find a way. Consoled Long Chen. Frankly speaking, being a craftsman was like burning money. However, as an alchemist, Long Chen was specialized in making money. Sometimes he felt Guo Ran had come to keep him poor. He would make money, while Guo Ran would spend it all. Looking around, they saw that there was nothing more of value around them. And so their gazes once more fell to the coffin. It was just as Guo Ran had said. It looked like one seamless hole, without any lid to speak of. Long Chen tried smashing his fist onto it, and after a loud explosion, they both saw that the coffin hadn't even budged. Instead, it was Long Chen's hand that hurt. How hard, how heavy. Long Chen was startled. This huge coffin was almost 3 meters tall, and adding on its length of 15 meters, its weight must surpass his imagination. There was no way to directly absorb such a thing into his spatial ring. Spatial rings all required the master to be able to physically move the thing in order to absorb it. Long Chen took out a brick and smashed it down onto a corner of the coffin repeatedly. Bang, bang, bang. Long Chen didn't dare use Devil Decapitator, as that would cause serious damage to it. It was unfortunate he didn't have a heavy hammer-like weapon, so he could only use one of the bricks they had collected. After advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm, Long Chen's strength had reached an unimaginable level. Each time that brick smashed into the coffin, it would cause the entire tomb to tremble. I figured it out. This coffin isn't a flip top, but a sliding top. After smashing it multiple times, the top portion had shifted around an inch. Keep going boss. Let's see what the treasure inside it is, exclaimed Guo Ran excitedly. Long Chen was just about to continue when his expression suddenly changed. He looked in the direction of the passageway, from which many figures were quickly rushing over. Chapter 330 Want to Die? Then come. Translator. Born to be as expected. Long Chen. You didn't die. The three chosen's expressions were extremely ugly when they saw Long Chen smashing a brick into the coffin. Guo Ran had caused two favored to die and then ignored them. Then the light stone had been taken away. 
causing the passageway to become completely dark again. They had no idea what Guo Ran was doing, but thinking of the possibility of Guo Ran finding a pile of riches and throwing them into his pocket, they were all filled with pain. However, they had had to endure it. With the terrifying mechanism set up, perhaps only Chosen had a chance of passing through. However, that chance wasn't necessarily high. A slight mistake would cause them to die. To risk their lives without even seeing any treasure was stupid. So the three chosen had been unwilling to test it out. As for the favored and other disciples, that went without saying. Those two favored that had been tricked by Guo Ran had only lasted for a couple breaths before being killed miserably within the passageway. Who would dare try it again? And so all the disciples had been waiting up there, suffering endless torment. Each breath had felt like an hour, but they were also unwilling to leave just like that. But later, they began to hear loud noises from inside. That had been the sound of Long Chen and Guo Ran collecting the bricks. Hearing that noise, their hearts began to burn. Although they couldn't see what was going on, that was most likely the sound of Guo Ran collecting treasures. They had become like agitated ants, clenching their teeth and glaring down the passageway. But they didn't have the courage to barge in. Finally, when Long Chen started using the brick to smash the stone coffin, shaking the entire tomb, there had been someone who hadn't been able to hold back any longer. He felt as if he was going crazy. There was someone inside getting treasures, while they were like idiots, standing outside the treasure house. That feeling nearly drove them insane. Fuck it. He had finally thrown in a lance into a wall of the passageway. That naturally activated the mechanisms. But this time, the mechanisms only half activated, and stopped midway. Despite how cleverly the mechanisms had been set up, the tomb had existed for too long. The passage of time had still affected them slightly, with some portions of the mechanisms having degraded, then adding on the crazy impact Long Chen had caused the passageway, the mechanisms were now half broken. As a result, everyone now saw that in truth, the mechanisms were only able to activate part way. They were all jammed, unable to do anything. After killing those last two favored, it seemed the mechanisms had finally been unable to bear any more impacts. As long as they went down carefully, they wouldn't be struck. A-H-H, one of the righteous core disciples suddenly let out a cry as someone threw him directly into the passageway. The one to throw him was a corrupt favored. None of the righteous disciples showed any anger at one of them being used as an experiment. Instead, seeing that he was completely fine after reaching the bottom, they all celebrated and charged through. The fastest ones were the three chosen. No one else dared compete with them. Those three people had arrived just in time to see Long Chen smashing a huge coffin with a brick. Kill them, ordered Xiao Mingxian furiously. He charged at Long Chen, his terrifying aura causing the entire tomb to tremble intensely. His fist smashed at Long Chen. The other two chosen also went to attack Long Chen after a pause. They had decided to first kill Long Chen and take his treasures before investigating what the other treasures were. Guo Ran, you run away in the mess. Wait for me somewhere far away. Long Chen whispered stealthily to Guo Ran. Then, with a cold shout. He raised a brick to receive Xiao Mingxian's fist. Bang. The entire tomb rocked. Xiao Mingxian felt a burst of pain on his fist, feeling as if his wrist had almost broken. The next thing he knew, Long Chen was smashing a brick at his head at an incredible speed. Xiao Mingxian was shocked by that brick, but he didn't have time to be shocked. Long Chen's attack speed was inconceivable, and he hastily tried dodging back. However, he had still underestimated Long Chen's speed. That brick managed to clip Xiao Mingxian's forehead. Although it wasn't serious, the powerful force caused him intense pain. If it had been a favored, they probably would have had their head split open from it. A large bump appeared on Xiao Mingxian's head, almost looking like a bizarre horn. Feeling that bump, Xiao Mingxian was infuriated. In his carelessness, he had ended up wounded, and in an extremely humiliating manner. Die. Xiao Mingxian took out a dark gold saber and slashed it down on Long Chen. At this time, the other two chosen also arrived. They were both startled by Long Chen's combat strength. Although they had heard Long Chen was extremely strong, he had clearly just broken through to tendon transformation. His aura had yet to stabilize, and he couldn't even count as having reached the first heaven stage. And yet, in their very first exchange, he caused Xiao Mingxian to suffer. Long Chen was clearly not as easy to deal with as he appeared. Everyone be careful. That brick in his hand is a powerful treasure, warned the other righteous chosen. Hearing that, Xiao Mingxian was extremely grateful. That warning was just to cover up his embarrassment at having lost out to Long Chen. Long Chen sneered and was too lazy to expose them. 
He put away the brick and summoned out Devil Decapitator. Devil Decapitator was now covered in nicks from passing through the mechanisms in the passageway. Long Chen was filled with killing intent towards these three chosen. Previously, he had almost died because of them. He roared, his voice like heavenly thunder in their ears. Devil Decapitator swung out at the three of them. Boom. The entire tomb rocked. Sand and dirt began to rain from the ceiling. Long Chen was forced back dozens of meters, but he was filled with excitement. After advancing to tendon transformation, his strength had completely transformed. He was now able to control his physical strength even more precisely. The three chosen were shocked. Even the three of them working together had been unable to injure Long Chen. Instead, they were knocked back a couple steps because of his power. In other words, Long Chen should be on the same level as them when they all used their full strength. Despite the fact that they had a huge advantage due to their cultivation bases which were all in the late tendon transformation realm. We can't leave Long Chen alive. The corrupt chosen now fully understood why Long Chen had been ranked number two on their must-kill list. Second only to Han Shian Ayu. His talent was too terrifying. Once he matured, then it would definitely be Han Shian Ayu who was ranked second to him. You too. As long as we are able to kill Long Chen, then the corrupt path will not take a single piece of this tomb's treasure, offered the corrupt chosen. Hearing that, the two righteous chosen were shocked. They instantly understood he was offering a reward for Long Chen's head. However, inside, they cursed the corrupt path for being idiots and not knowing how to be subtle. How could we members of the righteous path work together with someone despicable from the corrupt path? The reason we want to kill Long Chen is to remove a scourge from our righteous path. Not because we're working with you. Stop spouting nonsense and kill him, said Xiao Mingxin. He was saying this to emphasize that he had no relation with this corrupt chosen. Working with corrupt disciples was an intolerable crime for righteous disciples. That corrupt chosen sneered in ridicule. The righteous disciples were forever a bunch of self-righteous hypocrites. You guys go capture that little brat. Remember, I want him caught alive, eh? Where'd he go? The corrupt chosen suddenly realized Guo Ran had somehow disappeared now. Reporting to senior apprentice brother, he fled, replied a corrupt disciple with an unnatural expression. Fled? How did he get away so fast? The corrupt chosen couldn't believe it. He, that bastard's too crafty. All of them were looking at each other. One of the corrupt disciples finally summoned the courage to explain. Guo Ran had known that he wasn't able to help Long Chen here with his little strength. Instead, he would hold him back. So the instant Long Chen struck Xiao Mingxin with a brick, he took advantage of everyone's attention being focused on Long Chen to stealthily slip away into the passageway. However, in the end, he was still noticed by a few righteous disciples. They had immediately raised their weapons and charged at him. At that time, Guo Ran had suddenly taken out a strange cylinder, and a rain of needles had shot out over a huge area. More than a dozen people had been hit. All those needles had poison on them and those who were hit all consumed antitoxin pills. However, they had then had to stop and had to circulate their spiritual key to suppress the poison and force it out. That was because they realized their antitoxin pills were unable to completely suppress the poison. Taking advantage of everyone's panic, Guo Ran had already succeeded in getting up the passageway. He had taken out some ball and thrown it down the passageway, where it had exploded into a cloud of smoke so thick that they couldn't even see their own hands. Those disciples who had started chasing him had all retreated, afraid the smoke also had poison or that Guo Ran would shoot more poison needles from within. By the time the smoke dissipated, Guo Ran had long since disappeared. None of them had really cared about Guo Ran getting away, as they just considered him a random weakling. But now that this chosen asked about him, they immediately felt apprehensive. All the chosen's expressions were ugly now. They didn't care about Guo Ran's life but it was very likely Guo Ran was holding a portion of the treasures from here. In fact, he could be holding the majority of them. However, he had already run, and it wasn't likely for them to be able to catch up. The three of them now focused completely on Long Chen. Long Chen lazily rested Devil Decapitator on his shoulder, indifferently looking back at the three of them. Want to die? Then come. Chapter 331 1 vs 3 Translator Born to be want to die? Then come. Long Chen smiled coldly with Devil Decapitator resting on his shoulder. His aura was steadily climbing, as if a volcano was storing up energy. Once it erupted, it could destroy the world. In Long Chen's eyes, there was no one he wouldn't kill, whether they were from the corrupt or righteous paths. It didn't matter what kind of reasoning they had. If they dared try to kill him, killing them wouldn't give him any grief. 
The three chosen were looking at him guardedly. From that previous testing exchange, they could all tell that Long Chen was extremely terrifying. The most terrifying thing about him wasn't his current self, but what he would become in the future. Once he matured, he would be on a completely different level than them. The corrupt chosen didn't wish for the righteous path to gain another Han Shian Ayu, while the two righteous chosen didn't wish for another person to appear above them. That was especially true since that person was an enemy. By now, they had both received orders not to target Long Chen anymore. Their orders were to leave killing him to Han Shian Ayu, giving him another glorious achievement. But the circumstances were forcing them. They couldn't care too much about those orders. If they wanted the treasures of this tomb, they had to kill Long Chen. Corrupt disciples were withdrawing from the fight over treasures. Guard the passageway. Today, we're only killing. Ordered the corrupt chosen. Yes, a powerful favor took charge of the remaining corrupt disciples, leading them to guard the passageway tightly. Seeing the corrupt disciples really had given up on the coffin delighted the righteous disciples. Xiao Mingxian cast a glance at one of the favored behind him. That favored was from the same sect as Xiao Mingxian. He immediately understood Xiao Mingxian's meaning, and went to handle the coffin. Long Chen, this place was originally a tomb. Did you come in just to give yourself a burial site? Sneered Xiao Mingxian. This place is Feng Shu really is not bad. What a beautiful sky. What soft earth. In the summer it won't leak. In the winter it won't freeze. But I picked this place for you. Although having dogs buried with him might offend the owner of the tomb. At least you're all dogs with your own prestige. So I'm sure he won't get too mad at me. Retorted Long Chen indifferently. The three chosen's expressions grew uglier. Long Chen's mouth really was too vicious. The attack strength behind his mouth was not the least bit inferior to his fists. Long Chen, I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death. Xiao Mingxian was the first to attack, his saber slashing down, causing ripples in the air. Those ripples were caused by space not being able to handle the pressure. Chosen were simply that powerful. Their attacks were extremely condensed, without the slightest power leaking, which made them extremely terrifying. Your dream is pretty grand, but unfortunately, you won't be able to achieve it in the end. Long Chen's spiritual key circulated quickly and Devil Decapitator slashed down on Xiao Mingxian. Boom. With an ear-ringing explosion, the entire tomb shook. Xiao Mingxian was forced back by Long Chen's powerful strength. In terms of raw power, now that he had reached Tendon Transformation, Long Chen was at least one level above Xiao Mingxian. After forcing him back, Long Chen had a general sense of his current power level. Devil Decapitator cut a profound arc through the air still containing some of the remaining momentum from the previous blow to slash at the other righteous chosen. That person had long since been prepared, and his sword went to meet Long Chen's saber, quivering in an odd manner. The instant their weapons met, his sword's quivering increased, and Long Chen felt a large portion of his power being dissipated. Most startling to him was that this person's sword was like a magnet, drawing in his saber, and not letting him pull it back. This was his first time seeing such a bizarre technique and due to his surprise, he ended up suffering a disadvantage. He was forced off balance, leading to an opening. As for his three opponents, they were chosen who had already experienced over a hundred battles. The instant that opening appeared, they pounced on him. Die. The corrupt chosen sword stabbed at Long Chen's waist as quick as lightning, leaving him with no time to dodge. His sword was particularly special. It was as wide as the palm of a hand, over three feet long and the sharp sides were covered with barbs that looked incredibly malevolent. It was made of some unknown material, but it was completely red, emitting a sinister air. Even before his attack arrived, the scent of blood filled the air. Most frightening of all was that his sword seemed to hold thousands of vengeful spirits. The instant he attacked, Long Chen felt as if he was being assaulted by countless ghouls. These kinds of weapons were termed corrupt weapons by the righteous path. They were evil weapons created through secret techniques of the corrupt path. The majority of corrupt disciples used such weapons. However, the strength of these weapons was not only related to the materials it was made of. More importantly, there were runes carved onto the weapon. Whenever such a weapon killed a person, a portion of that person's resentment would be absorbed. When a person was about to be killed, they would be filled with unwillingness, fury, terror, essentially a mass of negative emotions. As for these corrupt weapons, they were able to absorb those negative emotions. The more they killed, the more powerful they became. Who knew just how many people each corrupt chosen had killed? Their weapons would all release that powerful resentment whenever they attacked, and that resentment was able to instantly break down the mental defenses of ordinary favored. 
even though he didn't purposely target them. Even the two righteous chosen were now affected by the corrupt chosen's attack, feeling a prickling pain in their souls. Even the two of them were affected. So it was obvious how much worse it was for Long Chen who was being targeted by the weapon. The two righteous chosen were alarmed. This corrupt chosen was more powerful than they had expected, and their guard raised against him. Long Chen was shocked by the spiritual attack contained within this corrupt sword. However, his spiritual strength was extremely powerful. Despite never having learned any particular soul techniques, the impact of this spiritual attack wasn't that great against him. At this moment, Long Chen's saber was still being sucked onto that person's sword. Just as everyone thought Long Chen was about to be killed by the corrupt sword, a brick appeared in Long Chen's other hand, and he placed it on his waist, blocking the sword. The corrupt chosen's attack was extremely powerful. Long Chen's body shook, and he was knocked back. It also allowed him to escape from that person's almost magnetic sword. He, this brick really is not bad. It's unimaginably hard. Long Chen put away the brick. This time he had really made a profit. Even if he couldn't obtain anything else from this place. Just the mountain of bricks in his spatial ring was enough to make him feel like he had struck gold. Guo Ran had already said that these bricks could be continuously purified. Once they were tempered a hundred times, their power would multiply by tens of times. This precious material had been treated by the owner of the tomb as just ordinary bricks. It was too bad he had no idea how the mechanisms in the passageway were made. Otherwise, he would definitely cut off and take all those weapons. Those were all on the spirit weapon level. And in terms of material, they were probably even better than Devil Decapitator. Otherwise, they wouldn't have caused so much damage to Devil Decapitator. Those thoughts instantly passed through Long Chen's head. He cast a glance to the righteous disciples and saw them doing their best to open the coffin. There were tens of disciples using heavy weapons to constantly smash the lid. Working together, the lid had been pushed seven inches to the side now. It was finally possible to see how the coffin had been put together. The lid had some odd grooves that perfectly fit into the rest of the coffin. There was no way to flip it open, so they could only continue sliding it aside. However, it was still unclear just what kind of stone this coffin was made of. It was actually as heavy as a mountain, and tens of core disciples along with several powerful favored were only able to slide it off ever so slowly. Seeing that scene, Long Chen sneered. He saw that the disciples pushing the lid were all monastery disciples. Those righteous disciples who weren't from the Zhuangshan monasteries were all only watching to the side. From their nervous expressions, it was obvious they were unwilling inside. They knew that even if there was a treasure inside, it wouldn't be theirs. It would be taken by the more numerous and more powerful monastery disciples. But they were also unwilling to leave just like that. So they dithered here. If the treasure really was absolutely heaven defying, then even if they had to risk their lives, they would still have to try and see if they could obtain it. Although Long Chen had only glanced over for an instant, he immediately grasped what they were thinking. Devil Decapitator shook, and saw their key filled the room. This time, Long Chen took the initiative to attack the three chosen. Previously, he had almost suffered greatly due to being caught off guard. Now he wanted to see just what level his strength had reached. All of his spiritual key poured into his saber. Devil Decapitator lit up like it was alive, and a terrifying will immediately locked down on the three of them. Furious sea saw bear Long Chen's aura erupted out, and a sea of saber images appeared around him. They were incredibly fast, instantly enveloping his three enemies. The three of them were both startled and furious. They were startled that Long Chen's saber arts had reached such a terrifying level, but they were also furious that Long Chen was looking down on them. He actually used a group attack battle skill against them. Battle skills used for group attacks were never used in one against ones. Due to their larger range, the power was scattered, and if used against someone on the same level, it would cause you to suffer greatly. Furthermore, it wasn't a one against one, but a one against three. Yet, Long Chen was still using this kind of group attack battle skill. That was an absolute humiliation for the three of them. Arrogant. Bastard. Go to hell. The three of them furiously roared at the same time. Their weapons lit up as their auras exploded. All of them meeting Long Chen's sea of attacks head on. Continuous explosions rang out and key waves exploded out. Shaking the entire tomb. The walls and ceiling of the tomb were starting to crack. That caused everyone's expressions to change. Sand and dirt was already flowing from the ceiling now. If it collapsed, all of them would be buried alive here. Four figures were crazily exchanging blows in a flurry. Other than those people focused on opening the coffin, everyone was looking in horror at this battle. 
Chapter 332 The Stone Coffin Opens Translator Born to be this is a battle of chosen? Terrifying. Seeing those four fighting so intensely, all the other disciples were shaken. Let's not talk about power. Just this attack speed is already enough to make it impossible for me to even react. The four of them were so fast they were practically illusory in their eyes. Sometimes they would clearly see someone get struck, which should have caused heavy injuries, if not death. But then they would suddenly realize that it was just an afterimage. They were far too fast. Even just watching, they were completely unable to react to anything. If they were to fight, just how were they supposed to do anything in such a high-speed battle? Only a few powerful favored knew that this level of battle was something that was practically fought by instinct. The brain was unable to react in such a short time. There was no way to make precise judgments. Because by the time you decided on what to do, the attack would already have landed on you. Favored also had to go through this kind of training. Because they could also one day reach the chosen level. The best way for them to increase their combat ability was through battle. Through constant battle, they would pile up their battle experience. They wouldn't just fight with people in the same realm. Sometimes their sect elders would also personally go exchange blows with them to give them more experience. That allowed them to be able to instinctively react in the first moment no matter what kind of attack it was. They could use the most direct, most effective counterattack almost instantly. The reason Chosen were strong was not just because of their great talent or their undefeatable will. The most important thing was how much effort and grooming their sects had given them. The effort that was piled into Chosen by their sects allowed them to release a brilliance that dazzled others. But that brilliance wasn't so easy to maintain. Once that brilliance was broken, it would be a devastating blow to their Deo hearts. That was why Chosen could not be allowed to be defeated. Especially not to other Chosen who were supposed to be on the same level as them. The reason Jiang Yifan hated Long Chen so much was because his defeat Chiring To him had created an obstruction in his Deo heart. If he couldn't personally kill Long Chen, that would form a heart devil, and he would never be able to step into the bone forging realm. If Long Chen had at least had the title of a chosen, then he would feel a bit better, and the impact wouldn't have been so grave. As for Yun Luo, although his leg had been cut off by Long Chen, Yun Luo's Deo heart was more stable, and furthermore, he had lost due to both Long Chen and Mo Nian cooperating. That didn't impact his Deo heart. Chosen had to maintain an undefeated record. If they lost to someone known to be stronger than them, that was one thing. But against geniuses on the same level as them, they had to be extremely cautious, and wouldn't easily take action. To the core disciples and favored here, Chosen seemed to rarely fight. That was why they were completely focused on this battle, hoping to perhaps comprehend something from their battle that would help them. However, the core disciples were all completely dazzled by their fight, and they weren't even able to clearly see the exchanges, let alone comprehend anything. Only the powerful favored were able to actually gain some insights from their battle. However, as they watched, their expressions changed. They realized Long Chen's fighting manner had no set style or pattern. Their sect elders had already solemnly warned them that when two people's strengths were on relatively the same level, the winner would be the one who managed to find their opponent's weak point. In order to find their weak point, you would need to grasp their fighting method and rhythm. Only by creating an opening where no opening existed could you defeat your entire opponent. It was like playing chess. If both players were experts, then it was impossible to defeat your entire opponent in just a few moves. You needed to understand your opponent's patterns and then come up with a strategy in accordance to their habits. You had to let them step by step into a trap and then take their life in one blow. That was why the main things the powerful favored were focused on was the four people's fighting styles and rhythms. Although they were extremely fast, the powerful favored were still able to clearly see each exchange, and it was because they could see their fight clearly that they were so incredibly shocked. All of them were stupefied by Long Chen's unrestrained fighting style. The three chosen were fast, ruthless, and their patterns weren't obvious. They had clearly gone through special training in order to conceal their attack patterns. But although they hid them extremely well, and there didn't seem to be any openings, these powerful favored were able to see some hints of spots to take advantage of, whether it was in their stability, agility, or ruthlessness. However, Long Chen's fighting style was extremely irritating to the three of them. He simply had no set style. As he brandished his saber, he would sometimes act like a proud and aloof saber master attacking and defending precisely in a skillful and decisive manner that had no openings. Then he would suddenly switch to using his saber like a sword, attacking with the agility and quickness of a sword master, elegant and graceful. 
If that was all, that would be nothing. Experts all needed to occasionally switch up their style in order to keep their opponents from grasping their rhythm. That was completely normal. But then sometimes Long Chen would act like a madman who knew nothing of martial arts. Holding his saber with both hands, he would slash it about randomly, ignoring any attacks coming for him. And that wasn't all. The most shocking thing to them was that as Long Chen randomly slashed around, he suddenly took out a brick and smashed it around, catching them all off guard. Not only did he use the brick, but he even added in ball busting crotch kicks, slaps in the face, and all kinds of unorthodox attacks. Some of them almost coughed blood when they saw Long Chen suddenly spit in someone's face while fighting. In order to dodge that spit, Xiao Mingxian had taken a blow from Long Chen's brick. His nose was now broken, and his face had caved in slightly. However, Xiao Mingxian was truly worthy of being a chosen. His face was extremely long, and that foot long brick was the same length as his chin to his forehead. Long Chen's attack had left a perfect brick imprint. Other than surprise, that scene also almost made the watchers laugh. Those corrupt disciples who were guarding the passageway didn't bother holding back and laughed heartily. Xiao Mingxian went crazy from rage. The injury was endurable, but the humiliation was not. All his spiritual key immediately erupted out. The entire tomb shook intensely because of Xiao Mingxian's aura. Even the walls began to crack, and a large portion of the ceiling fell. Idiot, don't be so impatient. If the tomb collapses, everyone will die. Cursed the corrupt chosen. They had all realized that this tomb was too ancient, and wasn't able to endure intense shocks. It could easily collapse. And if it did, then even Chosen wouldn't be able to get out alive. That was why they didn't dare use their full strength. Their goal had been to tire Long Chen out before he realized that they didn't dare go all out. However, as soon as Xiao Mingxian released his full power, it immediately caused such a scene. Even if Long Chen was an idiot, he would still be able to realize that he could use this as an advantage. By just keeping the energy for one full strength attack in reserve, then even if he couldn't flee, he could bring the entire tomb crashing down, burying every single one of them with him. Xiao Mingxian's actions really had been completely stupid, infuriating the corrupt chosen. He even had an urge to cut him down right now. Shut the fuck up. You're the fucking idiot I have to put up with. Do you want to see if you can hold back after I smash a brick into your head? Xiao Mingxian lost control losing all of a chosen's dignity to wildly curse him. In Xiao Mingxian's eyes, this idiot didn't understand anything. How could any dignified chosen be able to endure being smashed in the face by a brick? Stop quarreling. Kill Long Chen first, advised the other righteous chosen. Xiao Mingxian and the corrupt chosen still had sparks flying between the two of them, but they both knew now wasn't the time for that. Due to splitting his attention to speak, that chosen had revealed a slight opening, and a brick came smashing for his face. Long Chen was starting to admire himself more and more. He realized he definitely had an extremely high talent when it came to using a brick. It was almost the same as face slapping. After trying it out several times, he was able to master this art to the point of perfection. By the time that Chosen reacted, the brick had already reached his face. The speed and angle made it so that he couldn't dodge. Filled with horror, he hastily tilted his head to the side. Blood flew. He managed to avoid being hit in the forehead dodging the same humiliation as Xiao Mingxian, but the brick smashed across his cheek and ear, the five sense organs, in other words, the nose, eyes, lips, tongue, and ears were all delicate weak points, no matter how high your cultivation base was, there was no way to make your eyeballs as sturdy as steel weapons, although the ear and nose weren't fatal weak points, being struck there was extremely painful, as for that chosen's ear, after being struck by the brick, it had completely departed his head, Blood dyed half his face. Long Chen, I'll definitely kill you. That Chosen immediately went berserk. His terrifying aura exploding out and his eyes turning completely red. Calm down, calm down. Now it was Xiao Mingxian and the corrupt Chosen's turn to cry out a warning. Calm down my ass. How am I supposed to calm down with my ear gone? Don't even bother trying to stop me. Even if I die, I have to kill this bastard. That Chosen was now completely infuriated. If news of this matter spread he would become the laughing stock of the entire super monastery. A grand chosen had had his ear smashed off by a brick, although there would be techniques to regrow it once he returned. While he was in the secret realm, he had no way to heal it. How was he supposed to face anyone here? Although Xiao Mingxian's face had caved in slightly, all his body parts were still present, and it would quickly heal. That chosen had just been about to go completely berserk. He was willing to bring down the entire tomb as long as he could kill Long Chen. Boom. 
But suddenly, the coffin lid automatically slid off, and everyone turned to look. Chapter 333 Forging Table from Ancient Times Translator Born to be Boom One of them had to have activated some sort of mechanism, as the huge lid suddenly began to slide off, revealing what was within. Rumbling rang out as a huge object rose out of the coffin. That was a huge table that radiated light. Although it had been sealed for who knew how many years, it still shone as brightly as if it were new. The table was piled with tools. A grand aura came from them as if they were alive. Forging table. All of them were stunned. So this coffin didn't contain a corpse. It was just a huge forging table. There's a weapon. Someone with sharp eyes saw that there was a shining hammer on the table. That hammer wasn't very large. Its head was around the size of a plate, while its handle was around two feet long. As soon as they looked at that hammer, their hearts began to pound wildly. That hammer gave them all a sense of boundless pressure. Suddenly, some of the righteous disciples who weren't from the monasteries were unable to hold back any longer, and charged at the forging table. But before they could even approach, they were cut down by a favored from the monastery. This belongs to the Zhuanshan monasteries. Anyone who dares try to fight over it will be cut down mercilessly, shouted one of the favored who followed Xiaomingxian. Although none of them were forging masters, such an ancient forging table could fetch them a hefty reward if they offered it to the super monastery. A forging table wasn't easy to split up, but it would be easy to split up the rewards. Right now, the strongest party was the one that contained Xiaomingxian and the other righteous chosen. This forging table's rewards would be split between the two of them but they would naturally split a portion with their subordinates. As for the disciples from the other monasteries, whether or not they would be able to obtain anything depended on the two chosen's moods. Even the corrupt disciples had their eyes reddened when they saw that forging table appear. Such an ancient item would be even more valuable than a regular forging table. This forging table might allow a skillful forging master to gain insights into the forging of ancient times. That would be a huge gain. According to historical records, the ancient people's wisdom was as boundless as an ocean, whether it was in terms of cultivation techniques, battle skills, forging items, or pill refining, they had all been in a golden era back then, but for some unknown reason, in the current era, everything had declined, it was as if the civilization of the ancient times had been cleanly cut off from the current era, in the last 10,000 years, cultivators had constantly investigated the vestiges left from ancient times, there were various secret realms, and cultivators had gradually managed to obtain more and more treasures from within them. Many of those treasures perplexed people, as those things were incomprehensible with the knowledge of the current era. After many years of research, people had gradually managed to gain some insights from those ancient treasures. Now they hoped to gain more items from the ancient times to research so that they could bring the brilliance of the ancient times into the current era. As for this forging table, they couldn't tell its exact value but it was very likely a priceless treasure. The corrupt disciples were practically burning with greed. The favor that was leading them stealthily glanced at the corrupt chosen, and seeing him shake his head ever so slightly, he held them all back. Despite knowing that this was most likely a forging master's tomb, Long Chen was still startled by this forging table. However, this was also reasonable. Whether it was alchemists or craftsmen, people in those kinds of professions were all extremely proud. The tools they used the most often were all usually brought with them to their tombs. It was very rare for them to pass them down to their disciples. But Long Chen had expected the tomb's master to have only left behind a portion of their tools here, or perhaps some masterpieces they were especially proud of. He was surprised to see that the owner had left behind their entire forging table. A fire burned in Long Chen's heart. He knew that if Guo Ran saw this forging table, he would definitely go all out risking his life to fight over it. Although the forging table had already appeared, Xiao Mingxian and the other two chosen didn't let up, and were still attacking Long Chen. They weren't in a hurry to grab it. The two righteous chosen were extremely confident. Right now, the monastery disciples outnumbered every other party, and many of them had relationships to the two of them. The two of them were definitely the strongest party present, and no one would be able to fight over it with them. As for the corrupt chosen, they weren't afraid of him. The only reason they hadn't fought with him previously was because they hadn't seen the treasure yet. If that corrupt chosen really did go back on his word, they would definitely have an all-out fight with him. With the two of them as well as so many monastery disciples, they had no fear for anyone. So Xiao Mingxian and the other righteous chosen's first thought was to work together with the corrupt chosen to quickly kill Long Chen. Long Chen was just too powerful. If it was just the two of them, 
Then since they weren't able to use their full strength, they wouldn't be able to keep Long Chen tied down. If he were to flee, that would definitely infuriate them. Their intense battle was something that the others were only able to watch. Some of the random righteous disciples occasionally glanced at the forging table with unwillingness and helplessness, but they could only sigh. They even regretted ever coming into this ancient tomb. They hadn't obtained anything. They wanted to leave, but the corrupt disciples were guarding the passageway. They didn't dare try to get them to open a path for them. Perhaps their reply would be the pointed end of many weapons. The corrupt disciples were only temporarily cooperating with the Zhuangshan Monastery's disciples. They weren't cooperating with the other righteous disciples, so they couldn't leave. But staying was also useless to them. They were only able to foolishly watch as spectators. Guqi, go collect that forging table. Xiao Mingxin realized that they weren't able to subdue Long Chen in a short time. To be safe, he told a trusted favored to gather the forging table. Guqi was a powerful favored, and he quickly followed Xiao Mingxin's orders. However, what the fuck? This forging table is too heavy. I can't gather it. Guqi tried several times, but he was unable to move the forging table into his spatial ring. Spatial rings were profound and mysterious existences that allowed you to put objects into another space, but it required the user to at least be able to pick up the object, and also required powerful spiritual strength. This forging table was 3 meters tall, 15 meters long, and 6 meters wide. There were also various instruments that were one body with the forging table. None of them could even estimate just how heavy it was. Guki tried moving the forging table with all his might, but the forging table only quivered ever so slightly. In fact, it was impossible to tell if it was even quivering without looking closely. Then first put away the hammer, said Xiao Mingxin. He had also seen that other than the forging table, there was also a hammer that was definitely a treasure. Otherwise, there was no way an inanimate, unliving object could give them such a huge pressure noveloon.com why bother? Why don't you let me take his place? Long Chen smiled and suddenly slashed out his saber with even greater power than before. The three of them were forced back several steps. In that instant, Long Chen vanished from their sight. Careful, Xiao Mingxin had only just realized Long Chen had disappeared when he had a bad feeling and called out a warning. However, it was too late. Gu Qi's hand had just been about to touch the hammer when he felt a chill on his neck. Then, heaven and earth began to spin around him. From his viewpoint, he was spinning around. He saw many people's horrified gazes directed at him. He saw a golden saber. He also saw a familiar body. But that body didn't have a head on it. Blood was spurting out of its neck. He heard Xiao Mingxian's warning. But that sound seemed to come from incredibly far away. Just as he suddenly realized what had happened. He descended into eternal darkness. Long Chen. You're courting death. Xiao Mingxian had never imagined Long Chen possessed such a bizarre footwork that had allowed him to instantly kill Gu Qi. Long Chen smiled coldly and grabbed the hammer. Wow, it's twice as heavy as Devil Decapitator. Long Chen didn't have time to carefully examine it. He quickly placed it into his spatial ring and then tried to absorb the entire forging table. Go to hell. Suddenly, wind blew on his neck, and a terrifying attack came from behind him. Long Chen didn't have time to absorb the forging table. He hastily dodged to the side. Boom. A terrifying ray of Saber Ki smashed into the forging table. This time, Xiao Mingxian was truly infuriated. He had used his full strength in this attack, not caring about any of the consequences. The power behind his saber had cut a huge scar into the ceiling. The entire tomb was almost cut in half, and the tomb rocked intensely. The incredibly heavy forging table was actually knocked flying by the saber. Long Chen quickly appeared in front of it. Haha, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Seeing that huge forging table smashing at him, Long Chen surprisingly laughed and raised out a single hand to grab it. No, Xiao Mingxian and the others instantly had a bad feeling. The instant Long Chen's hand touched the forging table, it disappeared. It had been absorbed into his spatial ring. One special property of spatial rings was that they could only absorb objects that had left the ground. The majority of people thought that meant you needed to pick up the object in order to store it into the spatial ring. But in reality, as long as the object had left the ground, then with a powerful enough spiritual strength, it was also possible to absorb it into a spatial ring. Long Chen had originally thought he would have to waste some effort to absorb this forging table into his spatial ring. Who would have thought Xiao Mingxian would be so smart and send it directly to him as a gift? The entire tomb began to rumble because of Xiao Mingxian's attack. It felt like an earthquake, and a huge amount of dirt began to pour from the ceiling. 
portions of the ceiling even began to fall. This place is about to collapse. Hurry and run. Following that shout, the righteous disciples all fled to the passageway. Even the corrupt disciples were a bit flabbergasted now. If this place collapsed, then they would all die. Seeing the righteous disciples charging over at them, they didn't know whether they should kill them or run. Boom. Suddenly, a huge pillar collapsed, directly crushing two unlucky fellows to death. Furthermore, this pillar had also coincidentally fallen onto the huge coffin. That huge force caused the coffin to burst apart. After the coffin burst apart, everyone suddenly saw a smaller coffin appear from within. That coffin had a golden page on its lid. Chapter 334 Golden Page Translator Born to be that piece of paper was only size of a palm. Lines covered the entire page, and as soon as it appeared, an incredibly ancient air radiated off of it, filling the entire room. At the same time, a powerful spiritual pressure shot out as well. This sudden change stunned everyone. After pausing for just an instant, everyone crazily charged towards the page. Fuck off, it's mine. Although the tomb was already beginning to collapse, everyone, whether they were from the righteous or corrupt path, was now charging at the golden page. Blood splattered everywhere. All of their eyes had reddened. Anyone who was in front of them, whether it was someone from the same path or opposing path, would be attacked by them. The three chosen were the furthest from the coffin. As for Long Chen, because he had taken the forging table, he had then retreated further away to avoid being attacked. So it was the regular disciples who were the closest to the coffin. Haha, <laughs> one person was the first to reach the golden page. He had just laughed and been about to say something to an expert from the monastery when his hand was directly cut off by someone's saber. This first person was actually from the same monastery as Xiao Mingxin. His plan had been to announce that this treasure now belonged to Xiao Mingxin, and so no one could fight over it. However, he had underestimated people's greed. After his hand was cut off, he only managed to get out half a whale before he went silent. A sword had already cut off his head. Someone behind him had been irritated that he had been blocking the way, and they had directly killed him in one attack. Surprisingly, the one to kill him was also a monastery disciple. But that disciple was smart, and had long since torn off the marking on his robes. He had also applied something to his face so no one could recognize him, leaving no evidence. The entire room was a complete mess now. The tomb was constantly quivering, and it was pouring dirt from the ceiling. That dirt was not ordinary dirt. It was as hard as steel, and sometimes huge portions of it would collapse at once, instantly killing any core disciple it landed on. But all that was not able to stop the fervor. This inner coffin was a normal size. In other words, this coffin was the one that really contained the tomb owner's corpse. And this golden page that had been laying on top of this coffin was definitely a treasure amongst treasures. Even the corrupt disciples became greedy, and they also joined the struggle. In just a couple breaths, this golden page passed through several hands, and over ten disciples had already died. The three chosen wanted to join the fight over it, as that golden page was definitely invaluable. But they were also unwilling to give up on killing Long Chen. If they allowed Long Chen to escape while fighting for the treasure, that would definitely fill them with regret. But if they lost the treasure in order to kill Long Chen, that would also be regretful. For a moment, they didn't know what to do. They only watched as those disciples struggled while also dodging the large slabs of earth falling from the ceiling. The tomb was shaking with more intensity as time passed. Just standing was getting difficult. Another stone pillar collapsed, smashing into the crowd. Tens of people were instantly turned to pulp. Suddenly, a figure charged into the crowd, and a terrifying sword key swept through the remnants. Several people were instantly killed by that sword key, one of them being a powerful favored. It's the corrupt chosen. Someone let out a startled cry. They all realized now that the corrupt chosen had charged into their midst, going straight for the favored who was now holding the golden page. That page was extremely odd, and it could not be absorbed into a spatial ring. They could only hold it. Save me senior apprentice brother Zhao. That favored with the golden page immediately turned pale when he saw the corrupt chosen come to kill him. Right now, he was completely focused on blocking the attacks from several other favored. At the same time, he also had to pay attention to the sneak attacks from others. That was already extremely taxing for him. If a chosen was added into the mix, he would definitely die. Bastard. How dare you go back on your word. Raged Xiao Mingxin, charging at the corrupt chosen. The corrupt chosen was just about to reach the favored and kill him. When a terrifying aura locked down on him. If he wanted to kill the favored, 
he would need to receive a full strength attack from Xiao Mingxian, which would at least heavily injure him, if not kill him. Novaloon.com CM Naturally, he chose to block Xiao Mingxian's saber. He sneered. I only agreed not to interfere with what was inside the outer coffin. I didn't say anything about the treasures of the inner coffin. Blood figure devours souls. He suddenly spat a mouthful of blood onto his sword, and a terrifying aura shot out. Ahhh. All the righteous disciples suddenly began to scream, feeling as if their heads were being stabbed with needles. Even favored were not able to bear it. Favored were clenching their heads tightly. As for core disciples, they were bleeding from their seven apertures. 1. Their souls filled with immense pain, as if countless ghouls were devouring their souls. Their bodies were trembling intensely, and they lost any ability to fight. The corrupt disciples weren't affected in the same manner. Instead, under the influence of that spiritual strength, they became even more savage, crazily assaulting the righteous disciples. The two righteous chosen were startled. They hadn't expected the corrupt chosen to possess such a bizarre technique. They were able to just barely block that energy, but they still felt some pain in their souls. They finally realized the corrupt chosen had been holding back this whole time and had just been using them. From the start, he had been planning on devouring the two of them when the time came. The favored holding the golden page finally wasn't able to endure it, and his arm was cut off by a corrupt disciple. The hand with the golden page flew into the air. The three chosen all reacted by directly jumping up to grab it, but the instant their hands were about to touch that page, it suddenly escaped and flew in a certain direction. What? The three of them were all shocked. They saw the page was flying towards Long Chen's hand, courting death. The corrupt chosen roared and his body suddenly twisted. He somehow took a step in midair springing forward and grabbing the golden page. He, the treasure is mine. The corrupt chosen smile had only just appeared when blood suddenly splashed. The golden page had cleanly cut his hand in half as it continued flying towards Long Chen. All of them were shocked. Even Long Chen. How could this small page so easily pierce through a chosen's hand? The reason everyone had been fighting for it wasn't because they had realized the material of the page was special. They had just assumed it was made of normal gold. The real treasure had to be lines that were written on it. Those were very likely immortal characters that recorded an unrevealed cultivation technique or a heaven-startling battle skill. Even in all that fighting, none of them had realized that the paper was special. Only Long Chen had felt a faint spiritual calling to that page. Long Chen had been constantly waiting for an opportunity. And just now, that opportunity had come. And he had used his spiritual strength to draw the page towards him. But when his spiritual strength touched the page, he realized the page seemed to possess an extremely great thirst for spiritual strength. Under the urging of his spiritual strength, that page was like an obedient puppy. A faint light had shone from it and it had directly flown over to him. When that corrupt chosen had first managed to grab it, Long Chen had thought his plan had failed. He had just been about to start fighting when that page directly cut apart the chosen's hand and continued flying towards him. Long Chen was delighted and surprised. This golden page was definitely a true treasure. It's a soul item. The corrupt chosen was filled with disbelief. Get back here. His spiritual strength immediately surged out to grab the golden page. The golden page suddenly paused in midair before reaching Long Chen. Sometimes it would pull a bit towards Long Chen. Sometimes it would pull a bit towards the corrupt chosen. Seeming like a tug of war. You want to compete with me in terms of spiritual strength. Although he didn't know what secrets were contained within this golden page. Long Chen knew that it had a certain affinity with spiritual strength. His mind sea shook, and an enormous spiritual strength surged out. That hesitating page instantly shot in Long Chen's direction. Long Chen easily received it. It felt as if it was an extremely delicate, thin layer of gold. It was only the size of a palm, but there were countless lines on top of it. They didn't look exactly like words, but they didn't look like drawings either. Instead, they seemed extremely similar to runes. It was very light in his hand. In fact, it was so light. He almost didn't even feel it. It was like gold but not gold. Like paper but not paper. It was extremely bizarre. Hand it over. Three figures charged over at Long Chen. The three chosen were no longer holding anything back at this point, And their auras completely exploded out. Marks appearing on their foreheads. Three weapons attacked Long Chen at the same time. These were full strength attacks now. They wanted to kill Long Chen before the tomb collapsed. Long Chen swung out Devil Decapitator with his full might, clashing with their three weapons. With an explosive sound, a terrifying energy directly broke apart the tomb. Previously, it had just been dirt falling. Now, the real ceiling was collapsing. 
Due to the various pillars supporting it, there were some portions that didn't collapse immediately, but the pillars were already starting to fall one by one. Those broken pieces were terrifying as they smashed down. At this time, the other disciples no longer had any more wishful thinking and all fled for their lives. As for Long Chen, under their three combined blows, he was sent flying back. His expression greatly changed, as he was flying in the opposite direction of the exit. His foot had just touched the ground when a huge pillar collapsed, falling down on him. It was too late to dodge. Feng Fu battle armor. A star suddenly appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and a terrifying aura surged out. His saber slashed out at the stone pillar. Chapter 335 Being Duke Translator Born to be Feng Fu Battle Armor, the three chosen were appalled to see Long Chen's saber somehow manage to send that terrifying stone pillar flying. Those stone pillars were made of an unknown material that was shockingly hard and heavy. Anyone who was struck by them had been crushed to paste. In fact, it was a stone pillar that had smashed apart the outer coffin. The outer coffin that had been so tough that even hammers had been unable to cause any damage to it. Such a tremendous pillar had been sent flying by Long Chen's saber. But since Long Chen had knocked it back, it ended up impacting the other pillars, causing a chain reaction, and all the stone pillars quickly collapsed. Once the stone pillars toppled, the ceiling was unable to endure anymore and completely collapsed. Long Chen's expression changed. If he didn't flee now, he would be buried alive here. He saw that the three chosen had already snuck into the passageway. He didn't dare tarry, and he rushed over. But as soon as he approached, three different weapons attacked him. Long Chen furiously brandished Devil Decapitator. Its crystal core even lit up this time, bringing its power to an unprecedented level. Boom. Long Chen's attack instantly destroyed their three weapons. Furthermore, they were sent flying out, going from the bottom of the passageway to the top in an instant, crazily vomiting blood. The three of them were horrified. Never had they imagined Long Chen was so powerful. But turning back to look, they saw the passageway was already buried by rubble, and Long Chen hadn't managed to follow them out, but they didn't have much time to celebrate. They quickly fled for their lives. Even the outer caves were collapsing with the tomb. The three of them wildly rushed out, looking like three miserable stray dogs. They were fortunate that they had already left behind marks for the right trail. Even as they fled, the tunnels behind them collapsed. Those collapsing tunnels almost looked like the mouth of a human-eating monster that wanted to devour the three of them. Suddenly, light appeared in front of them, and they all celebrated. That was the exit. The three of them shot out of the cave. Behind them, the mountain peak completely subsided. They had just barely managed to avoid being buried alive. Having just escaped from that danger, the corrupt chosen hadn't even had a chance to sigh in relief when he felt a burst of pain as one sword and one saber stabbed through his back. You too. The corrupt chosen turned in shock and fury at the two people behind him. He had never imagined that after just narrowly escaping the death, these two would immediately betray him. He could feel his life force rapidly fading, filling him with shock, anger, and regret. The corrupt path seniors had long since heavily warned him to never, ever cooperate with the righteous disciples. When they encountered righteous disciples, there was only one word for them. Kill. Originally, he had thought that with his powerful strength and innumerable trump cards, he could easily toy with these weaker cowardly righteous disciples, but now he realized he had been wrong, very, very wrong, the craftiness of the righteous disciples had far surpassed his expectations, what are we doing, were the righteous path's disciples, grand warriors of justice, eliminating evil and defending our values as our sacred mission, kill them all, ordered Xiao Mingxian, the righteous disciples, who had been flabbergasted by the change in events, raised their weapons against the corrupt disciples, previously, they had all been apprehensive about the corrupt chosen. Now that he was heavily wounded and weak, who would give up on getting an advantage? Kill. Xiao Mingxian and the other righteous chosen both charged at the corrupt chosen. They didn't give him any time to heal. They didn't even give him a chance to consume medicinal pills. In just a couple exchanges, that corrupt chosen was on the verge of death assuring he might lose his life at any moment. Contemptible righteous path. I curse you all. Boom. Once he realized that there was no chance of getting away, the corrupt chosen cursed them and self-detonated. Although he had been fighting fiercely and had even taken mortal wounds, his danshan had still contained an abundant amount of spiritual ki. Due to his intense resentment, he detonated his danshan without any hesitation. A chosen self-detonation was terrifyingly powerful. A huge crater over a dozen miles wide formed in the ground around him. Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen hadn't expected him to be so unyielding. 
He hadn't begged for forgiveness, nor had he tried fleeing. The two of them had been the closest, and they had been sent flying, wildly vomiting blood. The majority of their bones had broken, and they were extremely miserable. After coughing up more blood, Xiao Mingxian just barely managed to sit up, his face ashen, his eyes practically spitting flames. The other corrupt disciples were all dead at this point. Less than half of the monastery disciples were still alive. As for the other righteous disciples, they had long since fled. What are you all waiting for? Are you all dead men? Do you not know what to do? Seeing these idiots just foolishly looking at him, Xiao Mingxian began to curse them. A favored quickly ran over and took out a medicinal pill for him. Xiao Mingxian directly slapped that person in the face and cursed. You fucking idiot. I'm not crippled. I don't need your bootlicking. Hurry up and go find that bastard spatial ring. The favored was furious at being slapped, but he didn't dare release that on Xiao Mingxian. He led everyone to go searching, but inside, he began to curse every single damn member of Xiao Mingxian's family. How fucking vexing. Even after all that work, we didn't gain anything. The two chosen both consumed healing pills. They were furiously watching the disciples searching. This time, they hadn't obtained anything, but many of their disciples had died. Furthermore, they were now heavily injured. All the good stuff inside the ancient tomb was taken by Long Chen and that Guo fellow. Long Chen's dead in the tomb, so there's no way for us to get it, sighed the other chosen. Although Long Chen had some shocking treasures on him, there was no way they could reach him when he was buried so deeply. This dirt here wasn't the same as the outer world. It was incredibly dense. Even if they were to dig until the secret realm closed, they still might not be able to reach where Long Chen's corpse was buried. So they could only give up on Long Chen's treasures. That brick he used should be the bricks used to pave the ground of the ancient tomb. It's a very rare metal. I bet that Guo fellow has quite a few of them. If we find him, we might be able to get some benefits at least. Xiao Mingxian nodded. What if we can't find him? The other chosen smiled sinisterly. Then we'll just offer a bounty and put him on the list of wanted criminals. We'll say he was Long Chen's lackey who slaughtered disciples from the same sect we can make up any accusation we want. As long as that brat shows his face, he'll be attacked by all our people. As long as we offer some incentive as reward, we'll be able to get all those precious materials from his body. It's a pretty good investment. Not a bad plan. But if we can't find him, fuck, I really won't be able to swallow this rage. TCH, best option is to release this rage on the damnable 108th monastery. If I don't exterminate them all, I won't be Xiao Mingxian. A vicious light shined in Xiao Mingxian's eyes. The other chosen also nodded, but then he sighed regretfully. Who would have thought Long Chen would be so terrifying? The entire time he was fighting with us, he wasn't using his full strength. He was obviously using our subordinates to open the coffin and bring out the treasures. How insidious. In truth, they had misjudged Long Chen. Long Chen had actually made a mistake this time. In all his plans and assumptions about the coffin, he had never imagined it to have no traps. According to common sense, the coffin should have at least had some poison gas or hidden arrows. At the very least, there should have been some sort of trap. That was why Long Chen hadn't done anything to try to personally open it. One reason was because he was worried about the danger, and the other reason was because it was too troublesome. His other intention was to test his strength since he had advanced to tendon transformation. Perhaps it was because that era had been too peaceful. Thus, there had only been a set of mechanisms that would only be able to stop stupid beasts. Perhaps the owner had never imagined there would be people to come and smash apart their coffin. There hadn't been the slightest trap throughout the entire process. If Long Chen had known that before, he would have probably slaughtered them all instantly. Then he wouldn't be buried in the tomb. It's too bad about that golden page. It was definitely a priceless treasure. There might even have been some heaven-startling secrets written on it, sighed Xiao Mingxian. The other chosen agreed. Although they hadn't gotten a good look at the golden page, the aura that had come from it was enough for them to determine that it was a priceless treasure. It must have something amazing recorded on it. It's all Long Chen's fault. Just thinking about him gives me a stomach ache. Those brutes from the 108th monastery better not let me see them. If I don't slaughter them, I won't be surnamed Xiao. Let it go. That's the second time you've said that. Look, that little fellow's coming over. They should have found something. The other chosen saw a person rushing over, reporting to senior apprentice brother Zhao. This is for you. That person carefully handed over a small object. Seeing that thing, Xiao Mingxian's expression grew uglier. This was the shattered remnant of a spatial ring. That corrupt chosen had been incredibly vicious. B. 
Before self-detonating, he had even destroyed a spatial ring. Spatial rings contained special spaces. Once they were destroyed, the contents within it would disappear into the chaotic void, disappearing completely. Xiao Mingxian's expression grew incredibly ugly, looking like someone whose whole family had just died. This time they really hadn't made any harvests, but they were helpless about that. After glancing at the collapsed tomb, Xiao Mingxian and the others all furiously left. Three days after they left, a small amount of ground at the top of the tomb sunk in, and a large hand emerged. Chapter 336 You can touch, but you can't use her translator. Born to be boss, over a hundred miles from the tomb, within a hidden cave, Guo Ran was excitedly looking at Long Chen. Boss, I heard those bastards talking about you back on that day when I was hiding. TCH, I knew my boss couldn't die from being buried in the tomb. With boss's brilliance and divine martial arts, with boss's incomparable smarts, how could you possibly be buried inside while they managed to come out safe and sound? Long Chen had just entered the cave, sitting down on his butt. He seemed somewhat exhausted. This time you're wrong. Your boss really did get buried inside. No way. Boss, you really were buried? You do kind of look like you just dug your way out of the ground. Long Chen's robes were covered in dirt, and he seemed weary. While playing with idiots, I ended up being the one played. Your boss really did end up failing miserably. I am really ashamed, sighed Long Chen. On that day, Long Chen had sent out a full strength blow that had managed to send the three of them flying. But those three were all chosen, and working together, they managed to also force Long Chen back several steps. At that time, a huge pillar had smashed down on the top of the passageway, essentially burying Long Chen inside the tomb. As the tomb collapsed, more and more dirt was falling from the ceiling. Even with Long Chen's physical body, there was no way he could withstand that kind of terrifying weight. As the dirt began to cover him, he had felt as if he might be crushed to death. If that had continued, Long Chen would definitely have died. But then he had thought of the passageway that had been filled with traps. If he didn't want to be crushed to death, he had to enter there. That passageway was definitely specially constructed, as it was the only defense for the tomb. Long Chen estimated that it should be able to withstand the pressure coming from above, forcing his way through the dirt. He had waded towards the passageway. Once he had managed to enter the passageway, he realized his expectations were correct. As the only defensive line in the tomb, it was definitely special. Even as the rest of the tomb collapsed, it managed to stay intact. The outside was continuously rumbling. Long Chen knew that the pressure above would continuously compress the ground around here. In the future, this dirt would become as hard as stone. There was no further influx of air into the tomb. With Long Chen's cultivation base, he estimated he would have three days worth of air. Any longer than that and he would suffocate. The rumbling outside only stopped a full day later. Everything had gone silent. A chilling, deathly silent. Long Chen had tried using spiritual strength to probe the ground, but his spiritual strength, which had a range of 3,000 meters in the air, had less than a 30 meter range in this ground. The density of this earth was too high. Just as he had been at his wit's end, he had suddenly looked at the golden page in his hand which was emitting that faint light. Pouring his spiritual strength into the page, it had immediately lit up the entire passageway. For some unknown reason, the page possessed a great affinity for spiritual strength. Combined with spiritual strength, it was able to emit an unimaginable power. Trying out the page's power, he had used it to cut the wall of the passageway. The incredibly hard wall had instantly been cut through as easy as if it were tofu. In fact, he found he didn't need to control it with his hands, and that he was able to make it fly through the air just by using his spiritual strength. Just like that, he had begun to use it to pierce through the top of the passageway. He was able to control it at long distances and he found that after just a couple miles, the golden page managed to pierce through the top of the mountain. The golden page was just too efficient. It cut apart the rock as easy as cutting tofu, and it didn't exhaust much spiritual strength. Just like that, Long Chen had started a large-scale engineering project, using the small page to bore a path to the outside. The first thing he did was cut a thin passageway to allow fresh air to enter so he didn't suffocate. He then expanded the passageway absorbing all the parts he cut away into his spatial rings. He had multiple spatial rings on him, so he just filled two empty ones with the dirt. Digging a well down might be hard, but digging a passageway up was much easier. He only needed half a day to cut a passage two feet wide. Rather than immediately leaving, he had then stayed another day to be safe before crawling out. Once out, he had gone to this hidden cave that he had agreed to meet Guo Ran at. 
As soon as he had walked in, he had felt a wave of exhaustion wash over him. The feeling of being able to escape from the jaws of death was a good one, as you would expect. A tomb was no place for the living. The living should stay in the world of the living. Even Long Chen had felt powerless with the specter of death hanging around him. If it hadn't been for that golden page, he really would have died inside. Let's switch locations. I've got some good stuff to show you. After resting a bit, Long Chen brought Guo Ran to another hidden, but more open space. With a wave of his hand, he directly summoned out the forging table. When he saw the forging table, Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out of his head, his jaw dropping to the ground. Am, am I dreaming? He stuttered. This was the treasure inside the huge coffin. It should probably be the forging table the owner of the tomb used during their life. Your luck really is not bad. Although Long Chen wasn't a forging master, he was an alchemist. These kinds of professions all had a certain occupational disease. That crazy disease was a fanatic obsession with the profession's tools. Long Chen had his pill god memories, but he had always longed for a good pill refining furnace. He was like a top chef who was cooking using broken roof tiles as pots. Boss, I really love you to death. Guo Ran suddenly hugged Long Chen excitedly. Hey, no kisses. I only like women, warned Long Chen hastily. Haha, <laughs> Guo Ran laughed and suddenly charged at the forging table and began to ferociously kiss it. Just looking at that scene chilled Long Chen. This forging table was a complete set. It contained a forge, a hammering station, ventilators, ice cylinders, water tempering stations, etc. All the various tools were linked together, which caused its weight to be shocking. Even favored were unable to absorb it. This is definitely a treasure. My treasure. Guo Ran had definitely become infatuated. He was gently stroking the forging table, as if each portion of it was a beautiful woman's delicate body. That infatuated look in his eyes caused Long Chen's hair to stand on end. I declare she is now my wife. Even you boss, you can touch, but you can't use her, declared Guo Ran. Long Chen had an urge to vomit. This rascal really had gone insane. Even his words were becoming incoherent. Stop spouting nonsense. I brought it back just for you. But can you even absorb it into a spatial ring? He, I'm not an amateur. Guo Ran laughed and pressed down on a certain part of the forging table. A secret section of the forging table popped out, revealing a button. As soon as he pressed that button, the forging table disappeared in front of Long Chen's stunned gaze. A square little case had appeared in Guo Ran's hand. Us forging master's tools are all tastefully chosen. How could it be used by relying on brute force? Guo Ran laughed, seeming extremely pleased with himself. Long Chen was speechless. As expected, each profession was worlds apart. Back in that fight for the forging table, they had only been foolishly trying to brute force absorb it into a spatial ring. Seeing Guo Ran's incredibly self-important expression, Long Chen had an urge to beat him. Sighing, he tossed something else to Guo Ran. Here, there was also a forging hammer on the table. Mr. Great Forging Master, haha, <laughs> another treasure, let me aia, seeing Long Chen just randomly toss it over, Guo Ran just grabbed it lightly, as a result, his hand smashed into the ground, creating a small crater, before Guo Ran could even react, the hammer brought his hand sinking into the ground, in fact, the rest of his body continued with him, leaving only his two legs above ground, looking from a distance, it looked like someone had decided to stick their body into the ground, it was a comical sight. Aya, Grandmaster, are you practicing your dives? Forging masters really are interesting people. To practice diving on flat land, Long Chen simply looked on at Guo Ran's miserable plight. Boss, I was wrong. Pull me out please. Guo Ran's voice was extremely muffled from all the dirt. Only then did Long Chen grab his legs and pull him out of the ground like pulling out a carrot. But even as he was pulled out of the ground, Guo Ran was still tightly holding onto the hammer refusing to let go no matter what. A treasure, definitely a treasure. Your appearance foretells that the name of Grandmaster Guo Ran is about to suddenly rise. My great name will resound throughout all the heavens. North, south, east, west, up, down, the entire world. Guo Ran excitedly stared at the hammer in his hands. Bang. Suddenly, Guo Ran smashed his own head with the hammer. Blood immediately burst from his forehead, giving Long Chen a fright. Little fellow, have you gone insane? He, boss, you must not know. Such an amazing item definitely has its own spirit. It requires me to offer a respectful sacrifice. I'm using my blood to offer my sincere devotion to it. I need to emotionally move it so that it accepts me as master. Guo Ran talked as if he was a holy sage. 
Long Chen felt as if he had really gone insane. Offer sacrifices and devotion to a tool to make it accept you as master? Buzz. The hammer in Guo Ran's hand suddenly blossomed with light. Ha ha ha. I've succeeded. Long Chen was shocked to see Guo Ran suddenly begin to easily wave around that incredibly heavy hammer as if it was weightless. What the actual fuck? Chapter 337 Continuing Forward Translator Born to be he. Boss. This hammer is a remnant of that senior's life. It has its own spirituality. I've used my will and sincerity to move it, and now it is willing to be controlled by me. Guo Ran looked at the hammer in his hand with reverence. Then wouldn't you be able to use this terrifying hammer to smash apart all your enemies? Long Chen was filled with disbelief. Although he felt that Guo Ran's words were incredulous, the proof was right in front of him. He had no choice but to admit this world really possessed all kinds of strange matters. This hammer was twice the weight of Devil Decapitator. If someone was struck by it, then even if they were a favored, they would be crushed to death. Guo Ran shook his head. This hammer isn't a warhammer for fighting. It is a crafting hammer. Even if I were to die, I wouldn't use it to fight. The current Guo Ran seemed almost hallowed and divine. Compared to his usual mischievous self, he seemed like a completely different person. Long Chen was unaware that true forging masters had their own beliefs towards their forging tools. They usually possessed two hammers, one for fighting, and one for crafting. They definitely wouldn't mix the two. Well, although you still aren't a true forging master yet, that show-off manner of yours is still impressive, sighed Long Chen. He, of course. Otherwise, how could I muddle along with boss? Guo Ran laughed, returning to his old self. Long Chen shook his head. This little fellow had definitely been possessed by a ghost just now or something. This was the real him. I also obtained a mystical page. Can you gain anything from it? Long Chen took out the golden page. Perhaps the ghost possessing Guo Ran's body would be able to figure out something from it. Unexpectedly, Guo Ran looked over it and shook his head. I can't tell what this is. This looks like runes, but also don't look exactly like them. It's too strange for me to understand. Since Guo Ran didn't understand what it meant, did that mean that this item had nothing to do with forging? But then why would it appear on that inner coffin? Since he couldn't figure it out, Long Chen placed it into his robes for now. He had no way of absorbing it into a spatial ring. When he wasn't using spiritual strength to control the page, it was just like an ordinary sheet of gold without any attacking power. Do you have any plans? I'm thinking of going to get some revenge on those damn bastards. They almost got me killed. I'll definitely pay them back properly for that. Guo Ran hesitated for a moment before saying, Boss, I want to go into seclusion. Seclusion? Here. Yes. The secret realm has countless opportunities, but I don't have the strength to fight for them. Staying by your side will just hold you back. Right now I have a good forging table and crafting hammer. I also have so much of that special material. I'm thinking of refining it and making a set of armor I've conceived in my head, said Guo Ran. Long Chen thought about it and agreed that this was probably his best option. Guo Ran's cultivation path was different from others. Going out to experience slaughter had no meaning to him anymore. Good idea. Since you want to forge something, I'll give you some more material. Long Chen threw over a spatial ring. When Guo Ran saw what was inside, he let out a sharp cry. No way boss. You even managed to bring all this out. Guo Ran saw a small mountain of weapons in the spatial ring. There were arrows, spears hammers, hatchets, etc. They were all the weapons that had been inside the passageway of the tomb. You have to be thorough when cleaning up a battlefield. Naturally I wouldn't waste them. These things are made of excellent material. They even managed to turn my devil decapitator into a sawtooth saber. So they should be useful to you. Also you can take this thing too. With a wave of Long Chen's hand, a huge pillar 300 meters long appeared on the ground, shaking the land. This pillar was so thick it would require several people to wrap around it. It was also so heavy that it half sunk into the ground. Boss, were you a building demolisher in a past life? You even brought this back. Guo Ran was stunned. He naturally recognized this pillar as one of the ones that had been supporting the tomb. He hadn't imagined that Long Chen would even bring it out as well. Only after you left did I realize this pillar isn't made of stone, but a kind of metal. I don't think this metal exists in the outside world. Well. Do you want it? I want it. But how am I supposed to use something this big? Guo Ran felt a bit helpless in the face of this huge pillar. There was no way he could smelt it when it was this big. With some light swishing sounds, in front of Guo Ran's stunned eyes, a golden light flashed and cut the pillar into small pieces only a foot long. Furthermore, 
When those pieces collapsed on the ground, Guo Ran saw they were all neatly cut into cubic pieces. Boss, this, Guo Ran was completely dumbfounded. What could possibly be so sharp? This is the ability of the Golden Page. Long Chen trusted Guo Ran completely, so he didn't conceal anything from him. Amazing. With that page, boss, you'll definitely be like a tiger with wings, praised Guo Ran. Long Chen put away the Golden Page and asked, On that day, did you hear where they went? Previously, Guo Ran had said that he had stealthily eavesdropped on Xiao Mingxian and the others. He had personally seen them kill the corrupt chosen once they had fled the tomb. They didn't say where they were going, but I saw them going in that direction. Guo Ran pointed, Boss, since they've already framed you, maybe you should lie low for now? Otherwise, more and more people will be deceived and try to capture or kill you, said Guo Ran worriedly. Whoever had set this up was definitely extremely hateful. They had intentionally framed Long Chen, and then later they had continuously added fuel to the fire, causing Long Chen to become the wanted criminal of the entire righteous path. If Long Chen dared strike back, then that would cause him to sink even deeper into that enemy's plot. But waiting was also not a solution. Even once he left the secret realm, it would be difficult to avoid the severe punishment of the super monastery. This scheme was incredibly vile. There's nothing to worry about. If they want to target me, then I'll just kill them, said Long Chen lightly. But a lot of those people were duped. They don't know the truth, said Guo Ran. So what? If someone wants to kill me, then they better be prepared to be killed. As for whether they were tricked or not, it has nothing to do with me. They all have eyes. They all have heads. They are all capable of distinguishing the truth on their own. If they really fall for another person's trap and are used as tools, that just means they're stupid. I don't care if they're idiots. As long as they want to target me or the people beside me, then I will kill them. It doesn't matter how many there are, or how strong they are. From today onwards, I'm going to kill. I'm going to kill so much that they prostrate themselves before me. I'll kill until they learn to fear me. Dense killing intent surfaced within Long Chen's eyes. Those strange dreams had caused him to feel even more pressed. It was like some threat was quietly descending. If he didn't urgently increase his cultivation base before that, he and the people beside him would all be annihilated. He didn't care about the life or death of those idiots targeting him. For the people beside him, he didn't mind becoming a merciless fiend. But boss, if you do that, wouldn't you be jumping into the palm of your enemies? Guo Ran was worried. Brother, cultivation is a path of no retreat. Since I've stepped on it, I won't turn back. Those schemes and tricks are not the correct path. In the face of true strength, they are insignificant, like transient clouds. When it comes to intelligence, I wouldn't lose to those idiots. But why do I not use schemes to target others? That's because I might get dependent on using smarts and no longer depend on my strength. That might cause me to lose my courage, and lose my Dao heart that is unafraid of death. Those people who spend all day thinking of schemes and such, those people do that because they don't have enough confidence in their strength. Such people are unable to walk far on the path of cultivation. If they want to use schemes, that's fine, but I have no time to waste on playing such games with them. They don't even have the qualifications to be my enemies. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder confidently. Long Chen's words immediately caused Guo Ran to have a realization. Long Chen walked an undefeatable Dao. He had to have absolute confidence in himself. It was like how his own goal was to become a crafting god. He had to maintain his own confidence. If his confidence was shaken, it could lead to a destructive impact in the future. Boss, I understand now. Since you've put it like that, I'll tell you the truth. Those bastards were discussing how to secretly send out an arrest warrant for me in order to take the materials I have on my body. But most hateful of all, they think that you've died. So they want to take out their anger on the other disciples of our monastery, said Guo Ran. The most hateful kind of people were the ones who, being unable to take revenge on their real target, decided to take their revenge on the friends and family of their real target. Long Chen nodded. This kind of action was not at all odd considering those bastards' temperaments. He had already grown accustomed to these kinds of matters. The Righteous Path's disciples were truly most skilled at inner strife. Even that corrupt Chosen, who had only just worked together with the other two Chosen for a short while, had ended up losing his life to those two comrades in arms. That was enough to show how strong Righteous Disciples were in that aspect. That was why Long Chen had already given up on these Righteous Disciples. If he were with them, all that would happen was that he would be backstabbed. They had no ability when it came to handling others, but when it came to poisoning their own people, 
They were true experts. Long Chen had long since seen through that nature of the righteous path, and he had no thoughts of changing that. He had no heart to try and change such things. Right now, what he wanted was to get stronger, and whoever tried to stop him, he would kill. After conversing with Guo Ran a bit longer, Guo Ran suddenly said that he wanted to go into seclusion within the ancient tomb. He wanted to pay his respects to the master of the tomb. Thus, Long Chen brought Guo Ran to the little tunnel he had made. Once he went in, Long Chen found some vegetation to cover up the entrance and left. The direction he went was the same direction Xiao Mingxian and the others had gone. Long Chen had made a mistake in not killing them within the tomb. He definitely would not make that mistake a second time. Chapter 338 Seeing Injustice on the Way Translator Born to be Long Chen walked in the direction Guo Ran had pointed out for a full week. More and more mountains and valleys had appeared as he advanced. On the way, Long Chen noticed that the number of people around him was increasing. However, the majority of them were not monastery disciples. That showed Long Chen that the righteous path was not dominated by the Zhuangshan monasteries. Some of those righteous disciples had powerful cultivation bases that weren't at all inferior to monastery disciples. In fact, some of them were even more powerful. On the way, he saw quite a few fights between righteous and corrupt disciples. Other than simply due to the antagonistic nature between the two sides, most of the time they were fighting over treasures. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to deal with them. As long as they didn't provoke him, Long Chen simply ignored it all. But even though Long Chen didn't go looking for trouble, trouble still found him. Several times a day, he would run into monastery disciples who wanted to kill him in the name of cleaning up the righteous path. As a result, Long Chen was not merciful. All those who dared attack him had been killed by him, other than the righteous disciples. Oftentimes the corrupt disciples wouldn't hold back from attacking him when they saw that he was a lone traveler. Their ending was also tragic. If one came, then one died. If two came, then two died. But even after a whole week, Long Chen had yet to see any trace of Xiao Mingxian's group, causing him to feel a bit uncertain. No one recognized everyone, and so even if he asked around, it wasn't likely for anyone to be able to point him in the right direction. Since he hadn't caught up in this week, it seemed the only possibility was that he had lost their trail. Long Chen was infuriated about that, but he was also helpless. The Jiuli secret realm was too large. Just a slight change in direction was miles and miles apart after seven days of travel. Since he was helpless about that, Long Chen simply continued forward, seeing if he could find any opportunities. Not only was the Jiuli secret realm incredibly vast, it was said to contain countless opportunities, but only those with luck and strength could obtain them. As he continued forward, more mountains and valleys appeared around him. Furthermore, now a faint mist was starting to appear. Long Chen took out his map and saw that this place had been marked down as the Misty Mountain Valleys. There was also a grass marking on the map, indicating this place had many natural treasures. Medicinal herbs aren't bad. Let me take a look. Long Chen saw that the map showed that there were many crisscrossing mountains here that almost formed a labyrinth. A thick mist surrounded this region of around 3,000 miles. Successive generations of disciples had entered this place, but they were only able to search along the fringes of this region. There were very few people who dared venture deeper. It was said that those who entered deeper were all never able to walk out alive. As for the exact reason, it wasn't completely clear. Stop running. Leave your treasures behind or you'll die without a burial site. Long Chen had just been quietly walking while examining the map when a shout suddenly broke his concentration. You want me to die without a burial site? HMPH. Well I want to see just who is so arrogant. Raising his head. Long Chen saw two figures rushing in his direction. The person at the front was covered in blood, his aura completely chaotic. He was currently running for his life, and he seemed to be an ordinary core disciple. According to his robes, he wasn't a monastery disciple. As for the person behind him, his aura surged like the sea, and he was clearly a powerful favored. He was chasing him with a dark expression, a sword in his hand. Only now did Long Chen realize that they weren't talking to him. He stood there and watched. This scene was obviously killing someone to steal their treasures. He had seen that far too often recently. The bewildering thing to Long Chen was that the massacring of sect members from the same sect was all done by righteous disciples. Despite how savage corrupt disciples were, he had yet to see them attack their own people. Your Zhuangshan monastery is a huge sect. Why do you have to make things hard for us disciples from smaller schools? Raged the fleeing disciple. He had already despaired. 
He had just obtained a treasure and had been stealthily leaving the mountain valley when his actions were noticed by other people. As soon as he left the valley, this person had immediately attacked him. While he was only a core disciple, in his small sect, he was considered extremely powerful. But in the face of a favored, he was not even close to being a match. In just a few exchanges, he had almost lost his life, and could only flee. Originally, he had hoped that some people would be chivalrous and save him. But all the righteous disciples he encountered only watched as if watching a play. They only glanced at them before continuing searching for opportunities. He was seriously injured and his spiritual key was almost exhausted now. He didn't have the slightest hope of getting out of this. However, he was unwilling. Truly unwilling. He had gone through untold hardships in order to enter the secret realm. But now, as soon as he found a treasure, it was about to be stolen away by someone. He really would die with his eyes wide open. Haha, <laughs> don't blame me. I told you to hand over the treasure at the beginning, but you dared resist. You clearly don't know how to appreciate kindness. Now I'm mad, and even if you hand over the treasure, it won't be able to quell my rage. You can die now. The favored suddenly shot forward, his sword slashing out at that person. That person was already filled with despair. He couldn't run away from this favored, and he also couldn't defeat Charingthus favored. In the face of his death, he gave up running and glared at the favored. Even in death, he would remember this person's face. If the folklore was true, then he would become vengeful spirit and take this person's life in that way. Blood splashed all over that person's face and body, and the reek of blood filled his nose. He thought he had died, but then he suddenly realized this blood wasn't his, but the favored's. A saber had pierced straight through his back. The favored looked down to see the saber sticking out from where his heart was. His expression was simply blank. If you want to fight over treasures, then fine. Getting greedy for treasures is normal. But then you also wanted to kill people. Ugh. If you want to kill people, then fine. You can say that you were consumed by your anger. But then you also wanted to act so pretentious. Well, if you want to be pretentious, then with how large the heavens are, you have plenty of space to show off. But why did you have to be so pretentious in front of me? Did you know? The thing I hate the most is when people act even more pretentious than me. An extremely displeased voice rang out from behind the favored's body. The favor did his best to turn around to see who had killed him, but the powerful strength behind the saber had long since crushed his inner organs and even his bones. He wasn't even able to make such a simple movement. He slipped off from the saber, dead. The man who had just managed to escape from the claws of death now saw a young, handsome man who randomly flung the blood off his saber. Many thanks senior apprentice brother for saving my life. Just like that. He knelt down on the ground in thanks. If you thank me this quickly, I really would feel too embarrassed to take your treasures. Long Chen waved his hands and stopped him, not letting his knees touch the ground. He didn't like that manner of thanks. If brother Long wants my treasures, I will offer them to you with both hands. The man said without any hesitation. Oh, you know who I am? Let's not talk about that first. This fellow's Dao Mark is appearing, so you can try to absorb it. Long Chen pointed to the Dao Mark that was beginning to condense from the Favored's body. Dao Marks usually stayed in the body of Favored. They were said to be able to increase a person's karmic luck. However, Long Chen didn't believe in such things. If that person really had been supported by karmic luck, why was he killed so easily? Furthermore, wasn't it said that Favored had to be virtuous and moral people in order to receive the favor and protection of the heavens? In any case, in Long Chen's eyes, these favored were all lacking any sense of morality. Otherwise, why would they do something like this? Chasing down the weak to kill them and take their treasures? Originally, Long Chen hadn't been planning on interfering in this matter. But seeing that person's unwillingness and fury when he had been about to die, Long Chen had been reminded of his own experiences back in the imperial capital. Back then, he had also been furious and helpless. And so he hadn't been able to stop himself from interfering. Can I really that person was startled? This was a huge opportunity, and Long Chen was actually directly giving it to him. If you waste more time talking, this thing's going to run, said Long Chen lightly. This Dao Mark was just a fart in Long Chen's eyes. In fact, just looking at it made Long Chen angry. After experiencing that last lightning tribulation, Long Chen had realized he had an innate dislike towards these Dao Marks. That was because he could sense that all of heaven and earth disapproved of him and wanted to annihilate him. So he disliked anything that was related to the will of the heavens. This favor is too large to express. That person took a deep breath. And spiritual strength surged out of his forehead. 
It was like a large net, pulling that Dao mark towards him. Absorbing a Dao mark was extremely easy, but as for whether it could succeed, that would depend on whether you could obtain the Dao mark's approval. Oh? He really succeeded. Long Chen was slightly surprised. After absorbing the Dao mark, it hadn't dissipated. That meant the Dao mark had truly allied itself with him. That was out of his expectations. Brother Long, please accept Su Yang's thanks. This man began to kneel down again. Su Yang was a disciple from a small sect, and their sect only had two core disciples. Their sect had never once produced a favored. Now that he had succeeded in merging with this Dao mark, he would become the pride of his entire sect. The excitement he felt right now could not be described with words. Hey, stop. I really hate this kind of thing. Long Chen waved his hand, and a forceful energy immediately made it so that the person couldn't kneel. How did you know who I was? I've seen a photographic jade of you. But after saying that, he immediately continued. But I knew that the person who set up that photographic jade was definitely scheming to intentionally frame you. There was no beginning or ending. There was definitely a plot that they were hiding. It seemed Long Chen had underestimated the bastard who was pulling the strings. Now it wasn't just the monastery disciples who were aware of this photographic jade. Even the other righteous disciples knew of it. Ah, you really are trying to force me. Good, very good. I'll definitely find whoever it is that is targeting me. Brother Long, don't be angry. Anyone can tell that it's fate. Su Yang hastily consoled him when he saw his expression turn dark. I'm too lazy to bother with those idiots. You came from deeper inside the misty mountain valleys? What happened inside? Asked Long Chen. Brother Long, this is just a token of my appreciation. No matter what, you have to accept it. Su Yang didn't directly reply. Instead, he took out something and handed it to him. Chapter 339 The Power of a Brick Translator Born to be a spirit stone? No, it's a bit dark, and there's some sort of powerful energy inside it. Long Chen couldn't help being a bit curious towards this thing in his hand. Its outer shape was similar to a spirit stone, but it wasn't translucent. Instead, it was pitch black. It was around the size of a baby's fist. There were powerful spiritual key fluctuations coming from within, but those fluctuations were completely different from ordinary spirit stones. No, it's a wind spirit stone. Long Chen was startled. Wind spirit stones were extremely rare. They contained powerful wind attribute energy. More importantly, they contained the mysteries and profundities of wind. A wind attribute expert would be able to absorb the energy from within, and while doing so, would be connected to the true mysteries of wind. That would be a huge assistance to their cultivation. Yes, this a wind spirit stone. I managed to accidentally obtain it from an extremely windy area. Once I recognized it, I immediately ran. But as a result, Su Yang hatefully glared at the favored's corpse. Despite being so careful, someone had still noticed some clues and chased after him. This favored hadn't even known what he had obtained. Just because of a gut feeling. He had chased him in order to kill him and steal his treasures. That was truly hateful. If he hadn't run into Long Chen, Su Yang would have already become a rotting corpse in this wilderness. But now he had not only managed to keep his life, he had also profited by becoming a favored. His gratefulness to Long Chen could no longer be expressed through words. And so the only thing he could do was offer up this treasure. Brother Long, you have to take it, or I really won't be able to return your favor, said Su Yang completely sincerely. Although this wind spirit stone was precious, it was not more precious than his life. Then adding on that he had also become a favored. He really owed Long Chen far too much. This thing's not bad, but I don't want it. Seeing Su Yang's expression change, Long Chen waved his hand and continued. This thing isn't useful to me, and I can also tell you have wind attribute energy, which is the only reason you were able to run for so long. Brother Long, I, Long Chen cut him off. It's fine. I was just doing what I wanted. I'm not actually so kind-hearted and virtuous. I just didn't like that little fellow's pretentious mouth. In any case, I pretty much understand what's going on inside there. You keep this and do your best to increase your strength. Otherwise, you might die at any moment in this place. After saying that, Long Chen pressed the wind spirit stone back into Su Yang's hand and left. In just a short time, he disappeared from Su Yang's gaze, tightly clenching the wind spirit stone. Su Yang's gaze was filled with worship. Long Chen's magnanimity and imposingness had completely won him over. He didn't dare tarry any longer, and left to find a hidden place. He needed to stabilize his Dao mark and refine this wind spirit stone. As for Long Chen, 
This was the first time he felt a trace of warmth for righteous disciples since entering the Jiuli secret realm. It wasn't the entire righteous path that was broken. However, the majority that Long Chen encountered were all a bunch of idiots filled with evil tricks. Furthermore, these idiots were the outstanding elites of the larger sects. Could it be that larger sects were just concentration camps for idiots? Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Those lofty and aloof fellows all used their noses to look down on people while also harboring all kinds of wicked intentions inside. Instead, it was those who came from more impoverished origins that were more magnanimous and virtuous. Long Chen believed that if he had saved a disciple from a large sect, that disciple might not even consider it a big deal. In fact, he might even believe he was entitled to being saved due to his status. People saving him was simply as it should be. All he would do is perhaps toss out a little reward and leave. Furthermore, if you saved him once, you would have to continue saving him in the future. Otherwise, if you didn't help him the second time, he would consider you a bad person and hate you. It's you, Long Chen. Long Chen had advanced almost a hundred miles when the number of people ahead of him had suddenly increased. There were many people here who were slowly advancing, and as soon as he arrived, several monastery disciples recognized him. He's Long Chen, the one the first monastery sent out an arrest warrant for. He looks like someone who puts on airs, but who would have thought he was actually a sex fiend? Quite a few people were cautiously watching and whispering from a distance. The ones to stop him were too powerful favored. The two of them were wearing monastery robes, one from the 87th monastery, and one from the 92nd monastery. Long Chen, you perverted traitor, how dare you swagger around here? Hurry up kneel in repentance, roared one of the favored. The two of them hadn't been purposely sent to target him by the first monastery, but as members from the top 100 monasteries, they naturally felt incomparably powerful in comparison to those from the last place monastery. They had also seen that photographic jade of Long Chen killing that woman, but that image was only of him killing her, and contained nothing before or after. They had no idea about Long Chen's true strength. So as soon as the two of them saw him, they immediately put on a chivalrous act, taking the place of the heavens to punish Long Chen. Die you perverted traitor. Pow. The favor that was shouting was directly sent flying by a slap from Long Chen. His body rapidly spun in the air in a beautiful arc and with his teeth flying through the air, it somehow managed to be extremely aesthetic. Long Chen's face slapping technique had already reached the level where he would be able to start up his own sect around it. Even if the favored had been on guard, he still wouldn't have been able to dodge. Even the distant disciples who were cautiously watching were stunned now. A powerful favored had been slapped flying the instant he walked up, the other favored only reacted a moment later. He quickly unsheathed his sword but he only got it out halfway before the handle was kicked by Long Chen, causing it to return to his sheath. That person was startled, and before he even realized what was going on, a large hand slapped across his face. With a muffled groan, he also flew through the air, following the exact same arc as the previous favored. In fact, even the speed at which he revolved through the air was the same. This time, everyone was truly flabbergasted. Two powerful favored were like naughty children in front of Long Chen. This was not even a fight. Even the two favored were dumbfounded. They hadn't even realized what was going on before they had been slapped. Crawling up from the ground, their heads were a complete mess, and they felt like they might faint. Their heads only became clear after a couple breaths. Looking from the stunned righteous disciples to the smiling Long Chen, their fury immediately erupted. I'll kill you Long Chen. The two of them roared at the same time and charged at Long Chen. Sword Key surged out of their swords and completely enveloped him. These two powerful favored were bringing out their full strength now. Their sword arts were profound and their strength was not at all lacking compared to other favored. Previously, some people had felt so astonished by the fact that they had been randomly slapped flying by Long Chen that they thought these two were perhaps core disciples who were faking being favored by wearing their robes. Favored from the monasteries all had an extra mark on their robes compared to core disciples to differentiate their status. That was a symbol of their strength. There were always a few people who only had the power of a core disciple, but wore the robes of a favored in order to intimidate others. At first, they had assumed these two must be like that, but now that they were attacking, everyone realized just how powerful they were. This kind of attack would be something difficult even for a favored to receive. Bang, bang. Two muffled sounds rang out with two screams. The sword images faded and two figures miserably flew back. When those two figures finally tumbled to a stop and people saw their faces, their jaws dropped. 
A strange impression had been made in the center of their faces. Their noses had caved in deeply, and their faces were practically deformed as they dripped blood. People turned in horror to look at Long Chen. They saw a brick in his hands as he slowly shook his head, seeing that black brick, and then the impression left on the two of their faces. They all made the connection. As I thought, not everyone's faces are as large as Xiao Mingxian's. Ordinary people don't have such a big face. Long Chen's words were very quiet, as he was just talking to himself. And yet, these experts all heard it clearly. Outsiders didn't react to what he said, but several of the monastery disciples were completely stunned. Xiao Mingxian? He was a grand chosen. He had been slapped by a brick as well? Then just what kind of monster was Long Chen? You bastard Long Chen. The two of them had their heads deformed, but their brains hadn't been completely crushed. To be humiliated in front of so many people like this was worse than being killed. You're still cursing me. Long Chen coldly snorted and shot forward, appearing in front of the two of them in an instant. The brick in his hand began to smash down on the two of them rapidly. Bang! Bang! Those bangs were all accompanied by miserable screams. Occasionally the sound of bones breaking also rang out. Those spectators all felt their hearts pounding as a chill ran through their bodies. You curse me as being a perverted traitor. Bang! Bang! Who is the perverted traitor? Bang! Bang! You're all perverted traitors. Bang! Bang! Each time Long Chen cursed them, he would ruthlessly smash down the brick on the two of them. He was very fair, splitting up the beating evenly between the two of them. Now the two of them were completely covered in blood, their limbs broken. They were letting out howls and wails, sounding like two pigs being killed. Please stop beating us. If you keep going, you'll kill us. Grandpa Long Chen, we were wrong. Spare us. In front of Long Chen, the two of them had no ability to resist. They had practically gone insane from fury. They didn't even know how they had lost. But Long Chen's brick was too cruel. If this continued, they would definitely die. So they could only admit death during now they were really afraid. The kind of people that were most afraid of death were those who normally acted grand and lofty, only to cover up the weakness in their hearts. Bang, bang. Did I say you could talk? Who do you think I am? How could I have such stupid grandchildren? He continued beating them with the brick for a while before finally stopping. Since they had already submitted, he asked them a few questions to learn who had sent them to do this. But he was disappointed to find that these two idiots had only come to seek fame. No one had incited them to do this. Ha ha ha. The righteous path really is fun. Even a dog fighting dogs is so lively. Suddenly, a group of people walked out from the mountain valley in front of them, causing everyone's pupils to shrink. Chapter 340 Long Chen's Name Translator Born to be experts from the corrupt path, those righteous disciples in the distance were all shocked. This group was wearing robes of the corrupt path. There were a total of seven of them, and the person at the front was a sinister-looking man. There was a long scar on his face that slanted from his forehead to his chin. Just looking at that scar chilled people. That kind of scar clearly showed an entire portion of his head had been cut off. This person really had to possess a powerful life force. As that person walked forward, his aura shook the heavens. That domineering will coming from him caused others to tremble in fear. Chosen. All of them were shocked, and some even stealthily began to retreat, ready to flee at any moment. Even those two favored swallowed some medicinal pills and began to retreat in fear. The appearance of the corrupt experts intimidated all of them. Behind the corrupt chosen, there were even two powerful favored. Most terrifying of all was the murderous aura radiating off of them. Just looking at them would make a person shiver in fear. Just now, was that fart from you? Long Chen glanced at that person. Little brat, you're courting death. Before the chosen could even speak, one of the favored stepped forward, pointing and cursing at Long Chen. Suddenly, a figure flashed into motion and the chosen sternly warned. Careful, blood splashed across the sky. People were horrified to see that powerful corrupt favored's head was gone. As for the chosen and the other people behind him, they were furiously glaring at a person holding a head that was still dripping blood. You say I'm courting death? If you have the gods, can you say it again for me? Long Chen asked towards the head in his hand. He waited a moment. In the end, that head didn't reply and Long Chen flung it to the ground. No guts at all. You don't even have the courage to say it twice. The distant spectators were all stunned. As for the two favored that had been beaten by Long Chen, they were actually filled with elation. Long Chen was definitely not human. He was some devil who could kill people without batting an eye. The two of them profoundly regretted their actions, and even wished to slap themselves on the face. If they were so bored, they could have gone to provoke anyone. 
but why had they gone to provoke Long Chen? Did they have a death wish? He didn't even place the corrupt chosen in his eyes, and he killed a favored like killing a chicken. Thinking of how rude they had been to him, they couldn't help feeling some lingering fear. Taking advantage of the corrupt disciple's appearance, they fled while doing their best to suppress their injuries. They were afraid Long Chen would once more have an impulse to continue beating them. Even if they had a thousand lives, that wouldn't be enough for them to play with Long Chen. Tell me your name. I, Yan Xing, do not kill the nameless, shouted the corrupt chosen, his aura completely exploding out to suppress Long Chen. Telling my name to a person who is about to die is a waste of energy. Let's skip that. Long Chen shook his head. Devil Decapitator appeared and lazily rested on his shoulder as he indifferently looked at the Chosen. Today I'll pull out your muscles, flay apart your skin, and grind your bones to ashes. The corrupt Chosen angrily roared. A blood-colored saber appeared in his hand and he slashed out at Long Chen. Although it was a simple slash, all his focus had been condensed on it. At his level, rather than letting out a complicated attack, he had reached the realm of going from complicated to simple. This simple slash of his actually showed his incredibly profound insights into the saber. I don't like doing such complicated things. All I want is your head. Long Chen snorted and Devil Decapitator swung out in a profound arc as his saber swung out. Long Chen's energy crazily poured forth. His power peaked the instant their two sabers met. This was a skill for circulating energy. Even without storing up energy in advance, Long Chen was able to bring out his full strength. The ground rocked and a key wave exploded out. A figure shot back, smashing into a mountain cliff. Despite how sturdy that rock was, he still smashed halfway through it. What? Everyone was shocked that the figure that was still standing in his original position was once more lazily resting his saber on his shoulder. Long Chen is capable of sending a chosen flying. Chosen were all monsters compared to these spectators. Some of them had never even seen chosen fighting. They all assumed that a fight between chosen had to be one that would shake the heavens and rock the earth. But this powerful Chosen had been sent flying by a single hack of Long Chen's saber. That kind of effortless action had been no different from when he had sent those two favored flying. It wasn't just the righteous path that was shocked. Even the corrupt disciples' eyes almost popped out of their heads. That Chosen was not like Jiang Yifen. He was well known even amongst other Chosen. Although he couldn't compare to a top expert like Yun Luo, he was definitely shockingly powerful. And yet, in just one move, he had been sent flying. None of them were able to accept this result. Stones exploded out as a figure flew out of the crushed rocks of the cliffside. The Chosen's hair was disheveled, and adding on his malevolent face, he seemed like a furious magical beast staring at Long Chen. I'll tear you to pieces. The Chosen suddenly let out an angry roar, and light exploded from his body. Runes covered his body, and then, shockingly, began to leave his body, floating around him. A terrifying energy caused the ground beneath his feet to crack. What a terrifying aura. This is the power of a chosen. Just relying on his aura, he'd be able to crush us to death. An ordinary core disciple's face was pale white. Although they were miles away, they were still able to sense that terrifying pressure. It felt as if a huge boulder was crushing their hearts. Let alone fighting a chosen, they wouldn't be able to even approach before being crushed by that terrifying energy. What a bizarre cultivation technique. Long Chen was slightly startled. This was the first time he had seen runes leave the body. They were currently absorbing heaven and earth's spiritual key to support him. He, now you're afraid, right? Well it's too late now. The corrupt chosen smiled sinisterly. With the addition of that long scar over his face, he appeared more malevolent than a ghost as he charged at Long Chen. Originally, Long Chen had been wielding his saber with one hand. But now, he held devil decapitator with both hands. Fuck off. No technique at all. Long Chen slashed out like a woodcutter hacking at a tree. Devil Decapitator let out a cry and the sound of space being cut apart rang out as it slashed down. Boom. Another explosion rang out, this time even louder than the last. Waves of key soared out, and even the surrounding mountain valley shook as if there was an earthquake. The closest mountain in front of them collapsed completely. The cliff that was over a hundred meters high crumbled. Huge boulders rolling down. When the dust finally settled. People saw Long Chen was still standing in his original position and had yet to move. His posture was still the exact same as before, but the corrupt chosen was nowhere to be seen. People looked around for where he had gone. When their eyes finally lighted on the collapsed cliff, they instantly stiffened. Could it be? Their exchange had happened too quickly, and had ended before people could even react. None of them had clearly seen what had happened. 
but the direction Long Chen was facing was precisely that collapsed cliff. Then the truth was self-evident. However, people couldn't believe this reality. Suddenly, the collapsed rubble began to rumble, and the ground quivered along with it. With a final bang, the rubble completely exploded out and a figure jumped out. That was naturally the corrupt chosen. His eyes were scarlet red, his hair was a complete mess, and his entire body was shuddering. No one knew whether that was from fear or anger. He glared at Long Chen. Long Chen glanced at him and shook his head. Your boasting was enough to shake the heavens, but you only have this little ability? You even say you want to kill me? HMPH. Even if Yun Luo came here, he wouldn't dare let out such a fart. Who do you think you are? You are acquainted with Yun Luo the Chosen's heart began to leap. We can count as acquainted. He previously sent me a gift, said Long Chen lightly. What gift? In truth, your corrupt paths people also have your nice points. The very first time I met Yun Luo, he was neither a relative nor a friend, and yet he gave me such a nice item. I really was a bit embarrassed to receive it, said Long Chen somewhat bashfully. Nonsense. Yun Luo is our corrupt paths chosen. He wouldn't send anyone a gift, especially not someone from your contemptible, shameless righteous path. The corrupt chosen angrily roared. Obviously Yun Luo was an extremely grand existence in his heart. I'm telling the truth. The very first time we met, that fellow gave me his own leg to commemorate our meeting. Ah, that really did make me feel embarrassed. Long Chen smiled. As soon as he said this, everyone's expressions changed. Yun Luo was incredibly famous, and everyone who had entered the Jiuli secret realm knew of him. And yet, Long Chen now dared to insult him. You, you are Long Chen. The corrupt chosen's expression completely changed. The majority of the corrupt chosen had heard of a certain secret that most of the righteous path had not. The higher ups of the super monastery had suppressed this information and refused to allow it to spread. Everything that had occurred in that battle back then had been concealed. But the corrupt chosen had been harshly warned by their elders. That warning was that they could not be so arrogant that they considered everyone else's beneath them. Even Yun Luo had met an unexpected failure. So there was nothing in this world that was absolute. Long Chen had been ranked number two on their must-kill list, second only to the Righteous Path's number one expert, Han Shian Ayu. That was enough to show how importantly they viewed Long Chen. He, so you now know who I am. Well then, this game is over. Long Chen's smile suddenly disappeared, and killing intent surfaced within his eyes. Devil Decapitator swung out, aiming straight for that corrupt chosen.